Hello there. Hi. Hi, everyone. I think I'm here. Can you hear me? What's up? I think that's loading. Good. Hello. I, I, sorry, I don't know why that went so weird. I, I was having some, some sound issues. It's fine, though. It's fixed. Hooray. Um, right, I'm going to close that. And... Oh, golly. This is happening, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's quite exciting. This is an exciting episode. Oh, things. Things are happening. Things are going to be happening. Oh, how are you? No, you can't see me. That's true. Let me make my miniaturized face uh, appear. Here. Oh. Oh, not again. What did I do last time again? It was this, wasn't it? And it did... Activate. There we are. Deactivate and activate it, and it's back. I'm here. Hi, everyone. I'm here. Do I want to put this on, or is it going to bleach my eyes out? It's a bit much, but equally... Yeah, you get me, you get me fully illuminated. <laughs> Good. Right. Oh. I've actually had way too much juice just now. I need to... Ah, there we go. Oh, glorious. Ah, oh, right, so anyway, enough of this waffling. What the hell's going on? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I literally just turned it off and turned it on again. So, um, good grief, what happened last time? Uh, war, war finished, didn't it? We literally, like, war ended and then we ended the episode. Oh my goodness, so. Here's the map. Uh, and so there have been some updates to the map, as you might have seen. Um, oh, let me just, now I need to be very clever and make sure I don't uh, do anything that might release spoilers. Where are we? No, you don't need to see that. That's, uh, yeah, close that. Make that appear. Sorry. <laughs> just need to sort me stuff out. Good. Yeah, fine. So. Uh, oh, and oh, I'm just going to put this over here, actually. You did, did fine. You put that there and then minimize that for now. Right. Uh, uh, oh, actually. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go big face. Briefly big face. Hello, everyone. Hello. Because I need to move this to here. I think that's the thing I want to do to make sure it's safe and never appears. I'm just working out a new setup because there's lots that I need to sort of vaguely coordinate this episode. Uh, right, where was I? Small face, miniaturized screen. Good, right. Yeah, uh, some things that have been getting pulled up. So the um, the old, you know, the ends of these old sort of um, light railways have been pulled up. But you can also see there's that new connection that we made, which essentially turns this into a bit of a connection between the, the line here and then onto the, um, onto the Great Northern. We also have down here in a funny color, actually, is this, uh, I mean, it looks almost disused. Uh, this this uh, this little new branch line that was built um, connecting uh, to the new sidings that we built. So there's a few things that happened during the war. Uh, yeah, a few, a few bits and pieces, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Rally Town got ended 1940. That was the end of that. It got closed. That The, the, the track was lifted and, and got rid of. Uh, well, not got rid of. It went to maintaining stuff elsewhere. Um, right, this is the bit where I'm going to do this and then do this again. Oh, crap, gully. Uh, actually, I should have, you know what, I'm going to go big face again. I don't want to avoid risking there. That can go to there. I need to stop zooming in, basically. Uh, right, so back to miniaturized face. This is so terribly organized, but you know what I'm like. Anyway, that's, so that's the map. Um, and I was one of the things I was just thinking before we press on, just having a think about the last hundred years. And by the way, I'm doing a recap episode. So for any of, of you who are new to, to this, um, or maybe you've kind of ca got to catch up, or indeed if you just fancy going back through and seeing what we got up to, I, I've just finished the script. I've just just passed through the script and tidied it up, and I'm going to now I'm going to do the audio recording and then drop bits of nice footage from our uh, the the series so far into in in amongst it. So there's going to be a bit of a recap, which should be. Should be nice, actually, I think. Um, oh, why is that top chat? It should be live chat. There we go. No, not a new setup, just because I'm doing things ever so slightly. I've got slightly more information in front of me for this episode, so I need to make sure that I um, manage this. Uh, yes, Alice Caldwell-Kelly would have a, does have a drop for this that I should um, make use of. Anyway, so this, this, um, this, this before and after is quite nice. You can see, just have a look down at Bradshaw. 
and greater Bradshaw and just see how much there's there's Bradshaw and then look at the size of it now. And even like, you know, Lowestoft is pretty big and then Dorchester even grown up. And then Shanklin obviously has popped up, Kingston grown, but actually Kingston started off quite a lot larger. I mean, yeah, just the size of, of the, the capital is pretty big, but also, you know, these there's, there's, there's a lot of urban area on this uh, on this island, a lot of urban area. It's quite interesting seeing it all. The, the nice forests around Rally have been eviscerated by the fact Rally is kind of quite this junction for the north. Um, and then, you know, have a hill and uh, or Haverhill and Bury. Hendon has grown massively. I don't get how why Hendon particularly has grown so much. But uh, yeah, Mag Hull there as well, expanding. It's just quite interesting seeing all the, the expansion of the island there. Um, much more grey. Uh, plays uh, Shake Hands with Danger by mistake, yeah. <laughs> man up, man up, man up. Uh, right, can I zoom into these? No, because I've just broke it, broke it doing the zooming in. But I can um, I can send people those these two pages for you to have a look at. The trouble with zooming in is that I can't flip back and forth between the zoomed in versions, so it wouldn't have quite the same effect. Um, so, 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 so. Um, let us first of all go back to. Um, Let's go back to let's get the get, get the game up and see what's going on in the game, shall we? Uh, see what's going on in the game. Because uh, what what date is it? Let's you can all see this theoretically. There we are. So it's the eighth of May. Oh, there's a nice roundabout. Look, that's it. This is the this was the kind of the, one of the first major new roads being built. Um, there was a pre-war road built, and you can see it's sort of essentially bypassing Harrogate, kind of ex accelerating journeys. But it's um, so what is it? it's you know what? So what is it? It's the twelfth, thirteenth. You know, war is finished, but there's not much. So let's, let's pause for a second. So it's the 14th of May, and it's just kind of war is. We've just had VE Day. War is set. You know, war is over in Europe, and everything's sort of. There's an eerie and strange. Right. Well, war is finished, but we've still got all the epic amounts of industrial production going on down here in Bradshaw. The fuel trains hammering through, and all of the shipping. You know, the, the amount of shipping coming in into Bradshaw is tremendous, you know, to the point where these two have, have collided and presumably are going to sink horribly. You know, there is just, there's, there's a huge amount going on. Uh, I mean, this shipping route is interesting. Did this just go over this sandbank? Ooh. It's a, it's a dangerous world out there, folks. This is fun. Look at this. <laughs> these, these three just, I mean, they, they, yeah, they, these, these all park up. There's just, you know, this is actually interesting, isn't it? Because this, I always thought this would be the naval base at Rugeley because it's uh, it's such a, a well sheltered spot, but um, I suppose it's just too far up the coast. It's not that useful. Um, anyway, but actually, you know what? We need to. Um, uh, I'm going to flick us back to to our, our slides. So Bradshaw's looking a bit bitter. Was it blitzed? Is it? What do you mean? Where is it? No, it's just, I think we just, this bit was always, as, this is the bit between Bradshaw and, um, uh, this is a bit between Bradshaw and Shildon, so this is kind of, yeah, this is this is the hinterland. It's always been a bit of an industrial wasteland between the two, because it has lots of heavy industry, and it's just a bit polluted and messy. Um, yeah. Interestingly, look, look at all these various industrial buildings, and oh, what is that? It's a residential building. It's a big flat, built in 1930. That's a building built in 1912. It's 1930. So it's, it's, it's 1929. There's quite a lot of fairly recent expansion. This thing's hilarious. What is that? 1943 that was built. Golly. And that's right behind um, Southeastern House, which is... Uh, has it grown? Anyway, we're going to come back to Southeastern House in a moment. For now, uh, we're going back to... Uh, go back over here because I get to reveal to you where our little islands are. Uh... Indeed. So lots of chat. Can I zoom in for Bradshaw finally? They've not Bradshill finally merged. No, they haven't quite quite merged yet. I don't think. Uh, control and zero reset zoom state within Control L in in uh, in PDF possibly. Uh, you know something. Master Chance is saying you know something big is about to happen. Gareth is trying so hard to be careful about not giving away spoilers. Well, indeed. Well, this is the big reveal. So we just went to fourteenth of May, and indeed this map here. You see this map from the fourteenth of May, nineteen forty-five. Uh, map of the Eastern Mediterranean. So you can see, there's, this is this is the state of play in um, uh, this is the state of play in May 1945. So just as the, everything's settling down, and and you can see that uh, well, everything's sort of under strange. Um, everything is sort of under sort of strange state of. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Why does that say? 
Let me just go and check something. I totally recognise her. Yeah, that's a, that's totally an error. Yeah, someone else has spotted an error in the map. That's that's interesting. Oh well, it's always going to happen. Uh, yeah, Syria should that should definitely that says Libya, but it should definitely say Syria. That's a definite error. Tut tut. Anyway, uh, yeah, that should be say Syria. We'll we'll we'll, we'll scribble that later and correct it. Uh, but you can see lots of places that are British occupied. British occupied. British administers the the Dodecanese are all like this this part of sort of the Greek islands. Eventually, this becomes Greece. And, you know, this is now Greece, but British administered. Uh, Cyrenaica, which is sort of get gob got gobbled up into Libya, is that right? In uh, which is uh, British occupied. The British are the British have come. They're here. Uh, there's mandatory Jor Trans Jordan down here. Mandatory Palestine. French mandatory Lebanon. Uh, yeah, French and British occupied Syria. Turkey's doing all right. Turkey's just Turkey. Uh, and in the middle here, you've got Amphitros. Uh, the little archipelago of Amphitros, which is currently just British. Uh, Cy there's much larger Cyprus there. Um, yeah, there's Amphitros, which is our little collection of islands, and they are pretty much halfway between um, Crete and Cyprus uh, ish. Uh, the sort of sort of that you can sort of see the location. You can see uh, not hugely sizable, but for anyone curious, this is this is real size. So this is the size of our actual islands if they were to you know be plonked on the map. So there we go. Um, the big reveal. So yeah, the archipelago is called Amphitros, and it has uh, so it's got sort of Turkish Greek influence, but but obviously is um, decidedly a British colony. So um, and here's the map. Here's the here's the flag of uh, the Quran colony of British Amphitros. Uh, there it is. Uh, very nice. So that was the 14th of May. Um, let us right. Let's do some. Let's do some rolling forwards in time to see what's going on. So we've. Uh, in fact, you know what? We're going to roll forward to July 1945. So, yeah, right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. So, uh, let me. Go. Sorry, I'm I'm bouncing between alt tabbing and things because you know I need to make sure I know what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. So, uh, what's the chat? What's going on? There we are. So yeah, London 1945. What happens in London 1945? Well, uh, Clem gets in. Uh, Clement Attlee's voted in. The Labour Party take over, which surprises um, certain uh, plump cigar smokers who thought they'd just be Prime Minister forever. Uh, yeah, indeed, Labour get in. And, um, and these two, there's Clement Attlee looking dapper. And here's um, the legendary uh, Anya in Bevan, Nye Bevan, who um, comes in as Foreign Secretary to start with. So, uh, yeah, Alexa played Jerusalem, yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, so now, the thing about the Foreign Secretary at the time is that both of them were essentially planned to pursue a... Um, I mean, what, what you could say, they're kind of pursuing a... A programme of decolonisation is probably too strong a word for it because it's not really true. But they're certainly interested in uh, and were considering various decolonisation efforts. Uh, this is relevant, but not necessarily... Um, uh, not necessarily... Basically, take tech note. Anyway, right. Well, that, that, that's so some politics things are going on, and 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 we re, if you remember there was a bit of like uh, there's, there's a little bit of sort of elbowing. Um, didn't realize how much Clement Attlee looks like the grocer from Hot Fuzz. <laughs> there's a little bit if if you remember back to um, the pre-war years where, when we we were in a train and uh, Besquicklehausen decided to um, grab said grab the weapons i believe with the famous quote uh <laughs> um there, there's been a little bit of sort of mm, you know ill feeling about the fact that this, that the the amphitros uh, archipelago is a is a is a crown colony is is british occupied just with the further back hairline lol um, and so yeah bear that in mind anyway right enough of that waffling let's uh let's let's go back to back to game uh so uh, what is but all this jazz going on? Doesn't really matter because what's going on on our island? We've got um, well after the war, we've clearly got a huge amount of of goods that's still being moved around. And actually, 
that didn't just immediately stop. You know, you've got naval, you know, those vessels are still kind of steaming around, and so you needed to get fuel up into, you know, fuel and construction materials for the war effort were being pumped into Bradshaw in a big way, and that didn't just stop. You know, industry didn't, the cogs of industry didn't just stop immediately as the war did. So that's all going on. Um, actually, you know what we need to do is, just so we've got a bit of a clear eye on what the hell is going on. Um, uh, yeah, let's do that and that and that. Uh, yes. So, uh, Richmond, oh my goodness. Why is Richmond, why is this station so crammed up? What's going on? Uh, there you are. And, uh, oh yeah, it's worth saying, so the War Department has sort of de facto taken over the railways during the, the war. Um, so run it as a single enterprise. But you can see that, you know, as as the war ended, we're back to having the, uh, you know, the... The railway companies are kind of have got everything back to their cells. They've, we've got there, we've got a nice BS and WR service running through. Where's that going? Harrogate to Kingston is quite a random service. It's nice though. It's quite a decent. Uh, it's actually quite a smart looking train. That um, you know, some of these much older coaches, crikey! In fact, those those surely those are really knackered. One thing that's worth noting though is um, as we look at how crammed up this station is. is that now full? Yeah, it's full. Uh, we need to pay attention to how full are these all full? I wonder. So if I click on this, and pin that, and then go like this, full, not that full, pretty full, not that full, pretty full, interesting. So that's probably a, a line that needs um, expanding. The trouble is, we have got pretty, oh, wowza. We have got incredibly, um, just everything is, you know, we're, we're, we don't have the capacity to start building huge amounts of new rolling stock. Um, everything is pretty tired, pretty run down. If we go to our vehicles after that, you know, after, Oh god, don't crash now, come on. After the war effort. Uh, here we go. Uh, whoop. Nope, go up there. There. Uh, we've got quite a lot of knackered stuff. I mean, I can see there's quite a lot of things that are pretty knackered after that war effort. Um, some pretty old knackered vehicles uh, everywhere. In fact, a lot of them are old. Uh, you know, the railway company is just not renewed a lot of its vehicles so uh, that's not clearly not ideal uh, so we're going to need to tackle that there's a lot of knackered old vessels as well so the, the war effort was really you know maintenance has dropped things are, are pretty you know pretty tired it's not a not a great situation for the for the island in honesty at this point um yeah it's uh not not ideal so um, yeah, I guess I'll stay a bit. Right, what else is going on? So that's all happening. There doesn't look to be. A, is there? A, is everything just clogged up? It doesn't look too bad, actually. It doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah. This is now. This should be getting loaded up with brick. Ah, yeah. Look good. It look, looks like this is now the demand for this. That's not okay. It's increasing a bit. Uh, this should be getting pumped full. So this should now be... Actually, if I click here, the charts, this should... Yeah, it's gone up. You'd see real peak in war effort during 1943, interestingly enough. Um, I wonder if that was materials to re repair Bradshaw after the uh, the October Blitz uh, a couple of years beforehand. Um, anyway, there is... Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? It's, it's just... It's good, you know, the railways... Everything seems kind of... Is anyone else getting any rattle? Or is it just my earphones, by the way? Everything else seems kind of calm, relaxed... Uh, you know, not uh, not too crazy. So, yeah, look at this. Anyway, where are we? August. So Clem is decided is decidedly in charge of the British Empire at this point, or or rather, sort of uh, under under Queenie. And um, yeah, that's a good question. People are asking whether these two have joined up yet. This is the closest I think they've got. That is that's Sheldon. That is Bradshaw, and they're kind of. They're getting close to each other. They really are getting close to each other. But they're not quite joined up yet. Um, what's going on here? Is this absolute chaos or is it all right? Uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, okay. Right, so. Oh, golly, what's going on here? So, um, do check in your questions and queries, by the way. Um, oh, let me just reply to my dear wife. Uh, lovely. 
uh, I managed to leave my keys at home, but I also managed to work out the problem and, and get back in time, so it's fine. Uh, so, oh, can you sort by age to see how old things actually are? Oh, how many years things actually are? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, possibly. Let me just... Uh, Oh, God, I'm all tabbing like there's no tomorrow. Let me just pause for a second. So if I go back to vehicles, age. So the oldest vehicles. Well, there's an old purple. There's a purple train here that's 92 years old. My goodness. Uh, lots of things. It's interesting. It says lifetime reached. I don't know what that means. 84% of lifetime. Ah, okay. So they reach a lifetime. Oh, interesting. This one as well, very old. Oh, there's a there's an old suburban train from uh, the Metropolitan Railway. Crikey, that's old. There are quite a few old trains hanging around by the look of it. Uh, interesting, yeah. Uh, these, where are these? They're just in a shed, sort of forgotten. I did, I, I, indeed, by me, I'd forgotten I'd put them there. Uh, yeah. Well, there you go. Does that does that answer your uh, does that answer your question? What's the perfect train food, in my opinion? Asked Verticalo. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder. It's a good question. Perfect train food. I don't know. I do, I do find myself eating sushi quite a lot on the train. But uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot of trains that are like nearly fifty years old. The thing is, they they seem to be in good nick. So I don't quite know how that's even possible. Is that maybe because there are some old wagons in there? Maybe it could be it. Uh, what's our new? Have we got some new vehicles that are in pretty, pretty good nick? Yeah, like a couple of years. The stuff built through the war, I presume. Yeah, look, it does look quite war effort. You look, aircraft, road vehicles, ships, definite war effort stuff there. Um, nice. So that's kind of happened in natural gameplay. That's quite satisfying. The famous BR sandwich. The famous BR sushi. Uh, GNER local is the oldest in service train. Fifty-one years old and still carrying five passengers out of only eleven capacity. Which GNER? Which which is that? Uh, let's go back up here. Which train is that? Uh, this one here. Oh, you know where that is, don't you? That's the Pend It's the Hendon Pier service. Oh, crikey, it's very old. Uh, yeah, cripes. There you go. That's what that is. Is that? Are you? Uh, why is? Why is the gate? I'm getting a spinny circle. Um, suggesting that the game is failing to stream to you. Are you? Uh, is it okay, your end? It's weird, it's saying that I'm not getting any stream health warnings, but uh, is it okay your end? I'm getting a spinning circle of doom on YouTube, which is not ideal. Hmm. There, we there it goes, let's see. It's got a few people, I, mean, I presume it's people actually, you know, using the, the Hendon Ferry. I mean, yeah, usage is definitely declining. Uh, yeah. I'm going to refresh the live stream page because it, it's been a been weird. Uh, I don't know why it's been like this, but it's fine. Everything's fine and healthy, and I need to go back to live chat. And there we go, fine ground. Um, there we are. Yeah, this Hendon Pier. I mean, it, yeah, it's not. It's definitely not. It's, it's definitely kind of in steady decline, uh, which is kind of what you'd expect it to be, right? Um, September ninety-four, and now. You know what is worth... So war across the whole planet is reaching the point of being over. Uh, you know what is worth pointing out? If we whiz over to... Um, if we whiz back over to Bradshaw. It's worth saying that there is a... A rising faction within... Uh, on, on our collection of islands uh, here. And they are... And they've actually been meeting up in one of the top... They've actually been meeting in the top office built the, the kind of the the office that's kind of basically within the attic of southeastern house southeastern house is not the headquarters of any of the railways it's the headquarters of the uh, southeastern transport commission um but essentially they've i mean they've got fantastic look at this this this, this uh this dude here foot on a propeller which is a bit 1930s he's also sat on a sat on a massive safe which is strange so bit capitalist all right anyway um ironically the the the, the group that have been meeting at the top are start they call themselves they call themselves the amphitros party of socialists the aps um and this whole amphitros thing this is the endonym for the the archipelago and it's part of an increasing movement of people 
taking ownership of their own sort of territories and lands and naming it what it's originally called. Um, so rather than calling this the, you know, the rather than uh, the British Archipelago, it's uh, it is now British Amphitros. Um, but they are they're discussing more than just sort of uh, the name of the island. Uh, but let's leave it for that for now. What else are we going to go and check out? Uh, there are some things I need to go and look. Kingston. I mean, Kingston. This size of Kingston. Crikey. Ah, I'll tell you what you need to do, actually, is... Um, let's pause again. Oh. Uh, let me just check. Uh, fair, yeah, so you've still got... you see all these airfields around. There's all these airfields. Crikey. Also, it's a busy airfield, isn't it? Cripes. Oh, did we have... Um, let me just check what aircraft we have. Yeah, that's right. We've got a DC-4 now, haven't we? Ooh. We can do something about the DC-4. You know what? It's fine. We're not We're not going to do anything about the DC-4. We're going to leave them to it. Um, there we are. And this is... Yeah, Hove. AF Hove. Hmm. Hey, I have to say, I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, I wonder... Yeah, they are... Are any of these better located for, you know, potentially becoming a different sort of air... It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. How busy is Stratford Ferry? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go over here. Let's go and have a look. Uh, I mean, pretty busy. Is, are these people waiting? They're waiting, for, they're waiting for the bus. Oh, yeah, the Midland Omnibus 25 and this. So there's the Midland Omnibus is starting to run, run a train service now, and I think that's starting to take... Oh, look, are these people giving up and just walking? Oh, look at this guy. Oh. Leon Thomas. It's, wow, I mean, not that I, you know, not that I like to, but this guy, look at this guy. He's doing it, isn't he? He's, he's really doing it. Look at this. He's strutting his stuff. And his gloves as well, like, really, like, uh, Really doing it. There we are. There's a nice view of the of the ferry. What's quite nice is you can see uh, Stratford in the background there. There we are. Uh, let's go for... There. That'll do. I'm going to take a nice picture of this guy. I'm going to capture the scene. All these people walking. Uh, there we go. Let's do, let's do that. Let's frame it this way. Looks a little bit like a bemustached John Mills. There we go. You do be perambulating though, big time. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. His fashion, his fashion is bad. Like he is hopelessly out of date. Um, it's quite something. Uh, whereas the person behind him is is at least in 1940s style. Anyway, Lily, Lily appears. Lily Johnson appears to be a little bit more, a little bit more contemporary, maybe. Although, yeah. Anyway, uh, not that I should be getting distracted with fashion, right? This is fine. It's interesting a lot of people seem to be using the ferry, actually. Is it, is it, like... I mean, not that many, but there is a bit... There has been a surge during the war of people using the ferry. That's really interesting. How strange. It lives on. It lives on. Uh, the environment debug menu with visual settings. No, very much not. Uh, a woman in the cream looks like she's seen a ghost. I mean, yeah, she's she has. She's walking behind that guy. Uh, oh, look, it's one of these buses. How busy is it? Not that busy. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh well, we we found that out fairly quickly. Fine. Oh, um. Yeah, look, this. Now, what, which one is this? What's this? Is one of the stopping services, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By Shanklin stopper. Really, not that many people traveling in that train. I still. It's interesting. The the travel patterns are really quite interesting. Oh, you know what I want to do, actually, while I'm here, is uh is actually switch all of this off. Um, and just want to have a look. I'm going to pause it again. Uh, you know what? Maybe I won't pause it. I'm going to just have a look at... Um, yeah, have a look at the transport situation and see what the... where the public and private transport demands are. Because it's interesting. Yeah, you can see... Uh, yes, it is busy. It's definitely busy. And up the coast, you can see... Is, I mean, obviously the railway lines are super busy, but there's... Um, there's definitely a lot more usage of road transport now, like big time, a lot more usage. Um, like the roads are really quite intensely used. 
uh, particularly around yeah, you look at the, look how intensely used the roads like the roads are between Harrogate and Nottingley. It's quite something. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's what else are we looking at? It's not quite so bad in the southeast because of the the um, the you know, the usage of the where are we? Yeah, because of how much usage the the bus network gets in around the southeast. But yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? What's quite good is if I click on Bradshaw here, you can look at everyone that's travelling uh, by public transport to Bradshaw and where they're coming from. You can see that the Southern appears. So if we look, we can see who's using the Southern over the using the. Uh, so 19 people using the Southern. Let's pause for a moment so I don't get carried away. And 26 using the GNER. So there we are. The GNER is winning in terms of pulling more traffic, which is quite interesting. Uh, actually, I mean, a lot. The numbers really reduced. It looks like people are going straight straight to Flittick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going all the way to Flittick, actually, from Bradshaw and then presumably catching ferries out to the islands. That's quite interesting. Uh, at the wider station, it looks like a Sankey diagram. Interesting. Uh, does it? Let's have a look. Uh, let me go to oh, you know what? Let's also while we're here, let's go and have a look at. I haven't concentrated on. Uh, look at this. I haven't haven't had a look at this station through in a while. Let's just uh, let's just enjoy it. The Kingston crossings. Look at this. And um, they haven't had a renewal for a very long time. It's also pretty busy. Uh, Kingston Station is round. It really is pretty round. Uh, yeah. It's busy, busy. Uh, Bradshaw to Lowestoft. That's the east coast, uh, kind of east coast service that runs up and down the coast. Don't look overly efficient. What, the crossings? Kingston crossings actually work remarkably well. People have been mildly horrified by how well they work. Um, for the number of services that run in, there's a huge number of platforms. And there are trains going north, there are trains going south, and there are trains going out kind of towards Richmond. It's It works phenomenally well, all things considered. Um, uh, I need to make sure I save now for... Uh, is that a tram? Oh, yeah, it is a tram, isn't it? Uh, what's this one? Ooh. Ooh, it's save time. What was that? That was a Bristol freighter, wasn't it? Let's uh, save game. Uh uh, what was that? That was uh, 01, and it's 1946, and it's census is what I want to write here. Oh, there we are. Uh, glorious. Do, 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 do. Uh, there we are. And go back to here. Lovely. Right. Oh man, I'm alt having like there's no tomorrow to make sure I've got the right windows in the right places. Ah. Uh, uh, this bit, yeah, there's this weird, it runs in single track here, doesn't it? Let me just bring up the lines. Yeah, it runs single track. Uh, I suppose it's not quite intensive enough and it's a problem. But the uh, the line, like this line, I wonder how well it is used. Are these stations getting more used now? Oh, uh, that doesn't look too bad. It's... I mean, it's certainly in the thick of it. You know, that's now it's now a station that's got stuff all around it. Likewise with Grange Hill, it's now very much a station surrounded by stuff. Uh, yeah. Where's that main road? Oh yeah, the main road's coming in here. Oh, yeah, it's just an absolute disaster main road that arrives and then hits a level crossing. It's just it's what big modern dual well 1920s 1930s dual carriageway hitting a level crossing before it sort of tanks its way through. <laughs> through to Kingston, cripes. Oh, dear me. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, time needs to move on, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. That's the ship, so that... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, aircraft. So, uh, we had... Let me go up here. We just had a new aircraft arrive. Do we want to... Do, are there any that we want to swap out? Hmm. There's not really, is there? This, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's. Aircraft. There's the Hellwood Company aircraft. Various aircraft. Went upfield as well. There's. 
Uh, I think we're grand. Uh, lovely. I mean, there are aircraft. There's a lot of aircraft on this island now, I think. If I go back to vehicles and just click aircraft, can have a look at the age. There's some. They're, they're all pretty young. Pretty young fleet. Some of the uh, some of our Archipelago Aviation's aircraft are some pretty old uh, Junkers at this point, but uh, I'm sure they'll get those replaced fairly soon. Um, yeah, they're gonna get. You know, they'll get some shiny aircraft. Or something, I'm sure. Bodmin, 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 Bodmin. Uh, is there any anti-car or pro-car sentiment across uh, Amphitros as a whole? I think people are just trying to get on with their lives at this point. Uh, other than a few people concentrating on working out what might happen for the future of the islands, there's, for the most part, people are just keeping their heads down and getting on with things because uh, times are pretty hard, you know. Uh, economically, uh, the whole set of islands have worked very hard, and uh, and there's a lot of there's there's a lot of stag you know it's not so much reconstruction from bombing and stuff. It's just that everything else stood still and things you know maintenance. Certainly for the railways, at this point, everything's just knacked. Everything's knacked. There's just, all the track is knackered. Um, you know, there's just a backlog of maintenance. Everything's been run ragged. You, you particularly look, you know, rolling stock. You saw, you know, the, there's some aircraft look at uh, rolling stock looking shi shiny, new stuff. But there's, there's an awful lot of, um, of pretty tired looking rolling stock around. Particularly for good stuff, actually. There's a lot of old, very slow rolling stock around. Um... Uh, did I name all the aircraft? I, I, I named all those aircraft, yeah. Uh, I haven't named all of them. In fact, I've, there's a few that I've not named that I should have named. Um, oh, look, some new tall buildings being built. So, there, I mean, there is some development. Clearly, there's some development going on because there's new tall, tall kind of high-rise buildings popping up um, around uh, around Bradshaw Metropolitan. But, oh, crikey. Look at this. Where are they all going? Uh, they're off to... Uh, Shilton, Victoria, and, and South Road. There's just 168 people who want to get to South Road. And and quite a few people who want... Yeah, they all want to go to South Road. Why can't they? What's gone wrong? What the hell? This doesn't look good. Why is there such a... Oh, it's because of freight trains clogging everything up. This is it. So, you know, we've got freight trains running on the metro lines... Um, not ideal. We definitely need to find an alternative for that uh, fairly desperately because it seems to just be clogging up the whole, uh, clogging up the whole works uh, and really not making a right old mess of. In fact, yeah, and that train then crosses all this lot, which seems to just make a right old mess of of operations. So that's why everyone is desperate to go to South Road is because there's a tremendous. Oh my goodness! There's a huge queue of trains desperately wanting to go places. It's not the best, is it? Oh dear. Where's this little thing off to? Children to Bradshaw. Oh, it's just runs back and forth, right? Okay. Uh, were concrete high rises a thing yet in 1946? Uh, not in Britain. Uh, no, that was a 50s and then 60s and then 70s and then 80s thing. But oh, look, uh, what? 80s, there are some older buildings surviving. Uh, does the game obliterate all old buildings? I'll be really sad if it does because it's quite nice. These these, these old buildings. 1870, that's got to be, that's got to be very old. That's surely very, very old indeed. Oh, crikey. Um, crikey, yeah, 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 good grief. Right, so, now, something is brewing at this point. It is March 1946. Something is brewing up. Inside, once again, you know, their monthly meeting of, uh, of the APS up here in the, in the, in the little dark, kind of deadened uh, rooms inside the, the top of Southeastern House. Um, discussing what to do next and as we go through March they start making their plan they start creating a plan they start writing proposals for what to do what's gonna happen Ooh, what is gonna happen folks what are we talking about what is the aim of the game what is this Kingston to Bradshaw equipment oh, yeah nice um, there we go look at this look at this, look at this busy also there's some this night, uh, that's just quite a shiny car, I like that. Whoa, there's the Sunny Anderson bourgeoisie off to an industrial building. Oh, there's a lot of big, fancy, snazzy cars around, actually. Now. Uh, they're definitely, all the cars have shifted, they've all got a lot newer. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Uh, yeah. Um, that freight train, yeah, Leo, it was your freight train routing, uh, and uh, it um, seems to be chaotic. Yeah, there's not much choice for, for shifting it. But uh, what, what's the date? It's the 4th of April. No, it's the 5th of April. 
Uh, no, because it is... It's the 6th of April, 1946. Now, on the 6th of April, 1946, things happened. Firstly, um, in lots of places, for example, down at the... Uh, uh, oh, wrong city. Down at the uh, the Maybra fuel refinery, a group of, uh, a group of men... Uh, coming through the front entrance and they just go up into the offices of the of the refinery and they this is this is in the this is in the evening and they they start having some discussions with the uh, the officers there likewise if we whiz up to let's uh, let's pick another fuel facility where shall we go let's go yeah 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 dollish fuel refinery and and for example up at harrogate where you've got the the um the actual oil refinery here discussions start happening you know just uh, just a, a group of men just seem fairly calmly to go in, uh, work their way past the um, the guards, and start having, shall we say, discussions with uh, the people inside the oil, uh, the the uh, the oil refineries and the oil facilities. Uh, likewise, kind of the where are we? There's one of them down here, isn't there? Yeah, the actual um, the actual oil wells. Uh, having discussion with the, with the people sat in the offices in the oil wells and having a chat with them. Now, why are they doing this? What's happening? What's happening, everyone? Well, what is happening is that uh, I need to get OBS up to make things happen. That's why. <laughs> right here we go. So um, Bradshaw, on so this is it, sixth of April, nineteen forty-six. The crown in Bradshaw in the Crown Colony of British Amphitros. Well, the thing that happens that evening is, or rather during the day, sorry, at midday on the sixth of April. Um, well, two things happen. Firstly. The APS uh, slap down a document onto the table and then kind of essentially play it over the local radio, stating that they have created a resolution. The resolution of the Constituent Assembly of the Amphitros Social Republic on the promulgation of the Constitution of the Amphitros Social Republic. Here we go. Uh, and this is the, there we are, this is the Constitution. So the, uh, the front document of the Constitution, you can see it all signed off there by uh, people. Um, and, and there we go. So the, the, they announce a Constitution. Um, and by announcing that constitution, they declare, they unanimously, de uh, they, they kind of unilaterally declare their independence from the British Empire. At the same time, they publish their first legal instrument as a supposedly independent uh, nation, which is that they announce the Oil Nationalisation Act. There it is. You'd see the Oil Nationalisation Act there. Um, and uh, you know, I'll read it out. This instrument captures the will of the people of the Amphitros Social Republic as represented by the Governmental House, the National Assembly, and the Workers' Committee to make good the following arrangements by the agreed date of commencement. Establishing public ownership and control of the Amphitros oil industry and certain allied activities and for purposes connected herewith. And that's it. The date of assent of this act is 1946, and their intention is that then the commencement of nationalisation, or, or the completion, rather, of that process should have happened by... The beginning of 1947 so that's it the first legal act um at which point certainly from the perspective of the uh the islanders um bradshaw ceases being in the crown colony of british amphitros and starts being in the amphitros social republic hooray it's not over yet folks so oh my goodness here we go um yeah yeah, everyone's uh, wondering how uh, how they got their own personal signatures on there. Uh, other people are wondering, uh, are suggesting that U.S. airstrikes are uh, are incoming. So let's um, <laughs> yeah, let's see what's going on. Oh, and I should I should say they have a flag, and here is the flag of the Amphitros Social Republic, and here it is, Amphitros. There it is. That's what it says, Amphitros, and six four nineteen forty six, and there you see the uh, the the glorious. Uh, socialist star there. I didn't see the islands there in the nice crest, and it's very nice, isn't it? And so this is the flag, the new flag, the newly announced flag. This is where we. This is where the Soviet anthem plays. No, this is not Soviet. This is not a. Um, this is not a Soviet socialism. This is not affiliated. This is not. I mean, it is likely they were likely taking some funds from the uh, for the USSR, but this is not. Uh, certainly, this you know, this stage they are not. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to be friendly with the USSR, but they are not. Uh, this isn't just a, a Soviet outreach situation going on. Anyway, right, so let's get back to our island, because what's actually going on? Uh, not a huge amount. Oh, wait a minute, where's uh, OBS? Uh, you didn't want to see that. You want to see this there. No, you do want to see that. That's fine. Yes, good. Oh, God, I'm so confused. 
Right, can you see things? Yeah, good. Uh, oh, there we go. So, um, so that's so the oil, and the reason why the oil is important is because essentially, you know, the British Empire has been exploiting the oil, and essentially, you know, the the, the Anglo, the, the company that, that uh, or still kind of battling for ownership and is probably pretty upset that they've had it wrenched from their hands, is the Anglo, the AAOC, the Anglo Archipelago, um, the Anglo Archipelago Oil Company. Um, and the Anglo Archipelago Oil Company, essentially, all the profits from their oil sales go straight to the British Empire. It's one of those sort of, sort of corporatist uh, sort of entities, uh, a bit like the Iranian one, which was the um, the what was it, the Anglo Persian Oil Company at the time, and then it became the Anglo Iranian uh, Oil Company, and then and then coups happened, and then bad things happened. Anyway. Uh, all that jazz is happening. So things are happening, and they so so it's it. It's, theoretically, there are big changes, except that there aren't big changes because everyone's basically living their life, and no one's really noticed um, because they're getting on with things because life is pretty hard. Uh, there we go. Let me just do that. So actually, right at this point, having um having claimed you know having essentially claimed the island. Uh, oh God. Don't pay attention to that. The shipping is busy, and they're all colliding with each other. Um, have they been ta tossing vats of oil into the ocean? <laughs> no. Uh, what was I going to do? I've lost, got entirely sidetracked, uh, hopelessly sidetracked. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got this. So if I go on, what button do I want to press? It's this button here, station statistics. And then if I go up here uh, and then scroll this down. You see, there's a load of airfields, right? All these airfields, airfield, airfield, airfield. Happy days. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get myself sidetracked here. Uh, lots of airfields, and the issue with these airfields is that they are uh, run by the military, and it, that means it makes it very difficult for any sort of uh, aviation expansion. So, um, one of the things the APS is looking at doing is getting these back off the military. Particularly as the there are lots of British Army people everywhere still at this point. By the way, the the, the British Empire hasn't is not entirely uh, uh, let's say is not you know there haven't, haven't been any skirmishes or battles. Maybe some heated arguments. Um, it's all been reasonably peaceful at this point. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe it's the fact that diaspora is kind of quite uh, you know there's there's not there's not a particular kind of particularly nationalist sentiment particularly it's uh yeah so that, that possibly has helped uh, and this is maybe making it things a bit more favorable at the london end uh in that they haven't just sent the navy to shoot everyone which is you know that's that's helpful so what is it it's may 13th so here we are so the, the first problem is like if we've got all these airfields are we are they just going to run is everything just going to sort of the ones that were originally uh you know civic you know civil aviation uh kind of uh, base you know airfields are those going to flip straight back, or are they going to use some of the newly built airfield? You know, kind of the wartime built airfields. What's the plan? What are they going to do with them? Uh, and so that's kind of an open discussion, particularly as you know, air flight is super important for getting goods in and out. Uh, as is, you know, as is the harbors. You know, you've got the major harbors at, at Kingston and particularly Bradshaw, the the, the kind of the big ones. Um, oh, more about the name of Kingston later. Uh, so here we are, it's Bradshaw Harbor, uh, which is. I think probably pretty busy. Yeah, it's generally pretty busy. Uh, what what you all saying? So, ah, right now. So, having had all that discussion, uh, there we go. Having had all that discussion, uh, the first thing they decide is well, we need to have the uh, Amphitros. Amphitros needs to have an international airport of some kind. It needs to have an airport that everyone considers. Oh, that's the airport that you go to. Um, great. And that becomes, uh, so this airport here becomes, so having at the moment being AAF Minehead, it becomes uh, Amphitros Airport. Simple as that. Amphitros Airport. Uh, that's the name of this one, and it, that's, there it is, lovely. Um, actually, does this now, yeah, Minehead Aerodrome, yeah, let's, let's, uh, Still from Mine Hero Aerodrome, but we let's rename that. There we go. Uh, and also this one. Oh, yeah, that's both of them done. Lovely. Uh, and there we go. Lovely. Uh, glorious. Happy days. So that's Amphitrice Airport, but there were others, weren't there? So um, uh, that's not the one I want. I want 
this one. Uh, let's just shrink this over to one side so we can sort of... Uh, there we are. Uh, and maybe just shove it over this side. So let's go find... Let's work our way through. So, uh, AAF Abbeydale. Now, was this a... Is this... Uh, this this is a... Ah, yeah, now Abbeydale. So this is... This is a little... Well, okay, this is going to be... Uh, we're going to call this... Um, what are we going to call this? Any suggestions? In fact, I haven't got you. I can't see your suggestions because you've you're not there. Where are you? Uh, does that airport actually have a passenger terminal? The one, the one I just renamed. Yeah, it definitely does. This one does too. So this is um, going to be Bradshaw. Um, Bradshaw Abbeydale Airport. Uh, we're just going to call it Abbeydale Airport. What do you think? Let's go for a. Uh, Actually, you know what? This one, they're going to call this one Bradshaw Airport, even though it's, you know. No, they're not. Shilden Airport. It's going to get called Shilden Airport. There we go. So that's that. What about Biggin Hill? Let's go over to Biggin Hill. What's Biggin Hill going to get called? Uh, well, at the moment, in terms of airfields, there's, there's not a huge... There's Biggin Hill up here, which does have a station, doesn't it? It's got there. It does have the, the Biggin Hill halt uh, there. So this one, what are we going to call it? Well, let's call it. We're going to call it... Shanklin Airport. There's an understanding that they need to be these sort of regional hub stations. So you've got this Shanklin Airport up there. Now let's work our way through these. What's this? This is Broadgate Field. This is. That's just. That's going to remain as a, a airbase. Cleesby though, AAF Cleesby um, is was before it was a civil air airport, and I think it is going to be again. So, but this one it's going to be called Raleigh Airport. There we go, lovely. Uh, let's also just call that. Actually, that's still AAF Cleesby for now because, um, yeah, uh, lovely. Those are stored. The hangars and such are still AAF Cleesby, but the uh, the civilian element is um, is not. So there's still a military presence on this one here. Uh, Dorchester. Now, what's happening in Dorchester? I don't know very much. Yeah, that's still a an airbase. Lovely, fine. Uh, Ely Forest looks to be the same, uh, and. Where are we? The Forest, Flitic, Ditto, Framlingham, sort of same deal, still an airbase. Froome, not much going on. AF Hellwood. Well, AF Hellwood is going to remain uh, Air Force at this point. Uh, AF Hartlepool, uh, Ditto, what else have we got? Hove. Ah, now this is interesting. So, this is an air. Now, this is a huge airfield. It's clear. It's, it's quite large. It's close to a massive city. But the tr thing is, it's kind of. There's no point in it that becoming a civil airport because it is served by Amphitross Airport. So, um, indeed. So that, that basically, that's going to remain as a as an airfield for now. Uh, and then there's Lowestoft, of course. Lowestoft is going to just become Lowestoft Airport, isn't it? That's what's going to happen with that. Uh, lovely. Uh, Lowestoft Airport, marvellous. Uh, and that should be Lowestoft Airport as well. Oh, uh, what else have we got? Uh, that was d d d L North Droitwich. There's nothing in North in, in North Droitwich. AF North Hendon. So this is quite a busy spot. So this is... Now, what is this going to be? This is going to be... Yeah, so it's sort of here... You know what we're going to call it? We're going to call it Burry Airport. Uh, there it is. Burry Airport. Uh, is that Burry Airport? It is, yeah. Burry Airport. There we go. Um, Hove has much more room to expand than Minehead, so if they're planning for the future, maybe it's a better site. Well, indeed, but uh, no, at this point, what was that? 114 waiting. I know. Where are they all off to? Jeez. Off to Amphitross Airport. Crikey. Uh, they're choosing that over flying. <laughs> Yeesh. Uh, uh, what else? So that was uh, Hailwood, uh, Orpington. Uh, no, Southport is just uh, is very much an air f is military airfield. Uh, Uckfield. Now Uckfield. Uckfield. Now, 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 now. Oh wait. Now what am I going to call this? Because this is. I'm going to pause the game and try and open a thing because I need to find um, that. Get my. Yeah, this you can't see anything, which is good at this point. I don't think. I need to just grab a, grab this, and look at this. 
Uh, okay, yeah. Good, lovely. You can still see me, I think. Right, this island, this is called... This is Nor Nortiros, is the name of this little island. Uh, at Nortiros uh, Airport. There we go. Uh, and I think I probably need to rename this as well. Yeah, lovely. That's the little, little airport. And this as well, lovely. Nortiros Airport. And there's a bus stop here, which I think also needs to be updated uh, and rename this as well to the grand so that's it uh, this is the airport that's so that becomes the airport for the island and actually you know what uh, well for now it's still just a grassy a grassy nothingness uh jermaine is enjoying the flag design i take it some people are catching up at high speed yeah jermaine you nearly caught up then by the sounds of it um hi paul George, or, 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 yeah. there we go grand okay good um lovely uh, let's keep at it. So, uh, this is Flitic. Look at the size of Flitic. It's huge, isn't it? Crikey. Lots of tools. Uh, I mean, lots of spanners that are just not getting picked up. We need to improve the uh, freight delivery going on. I mean, the thing is, it's all... What is that? Is that... What is it? Where is it all wanting to go and is it being taken? Flitic spanners. Oh, it's just because it's that one. What? Well, don't go there and then go somewhere else. Flitic, getting lots of spanners. Uh, oh, do you want to see... Yeah, see, Flitic is growing big time. Do you want to see the um, general population size? Oh, yeah, I also need to just get this up to make sure that things aren't happening without me noticing. Yeah, good. Um, oh, maybe... You know what I could do? I could definitely do this and do this. Uh, that works. Good. Okay, I, I can see everything now. Hooray! No alt, alt tabbing required, mostly. Um... Let's have a look at the towns, because I'm interested to see how, 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 what size is our... Oh, actually, before I do that, let's go down here. Oh, God. Don't pay attention to the uh, financial situation. Uh, towns. I'm kind of interested to see what the population is. It's near, we're not quite at 50,000, but we're pretty close. Pretty close to 50,000 people uh, living on the island. Uh, on these islands, rather. Uh, Bradshaw is at uh, 1,800 people. Kingston, again, not far behind. Shanklin, then Stratford. So there's a lot of large towns on the on the islands. A lot of large towns. Um, yeah, a lot of very large places. Yeah, look at these nice piers. Uh, yeah. Grand. Um, uh, now, 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 now. So, we are... In terms of the railways, not, not much is going on. They're just trying to catch up with the maintenance backlog. And uh, and in fact, you know what? We are going to now have a look. In fact, the quickest way to do it is through here, isn't it? So we've got, if I pop that out and then just go for trains. We just want to have a look at the trains that are in very bad condition and see what we can do about that. Um, even Ely is huge. Yeah, well, uh, indeed. Like Ely, where is it? Let's go down Ely. But I just have Ely in the background and it's got tall buildings and it's quite large. Yeah quite um right so we've got so what's this this is uh yeah uh, let's go and let's go have a look what's this the oldest uh actually is this the oldest train this seems to be saying it's the worst conditioned train on the map which is interesting uh what is it it's the oh it's mj and j limited uh Mag Hall to Stamford. It's just a good sir, and it's it does look. I mean, it does look pretty knickknacked. I'll give them that. Good grief. Uh, yeah. Trouble is, the railway companies don't really have. And they're doing their best to kind of fix a few things. So you know, maybe if a few of their freight services are going to get improved, but it's not. Yeah. So this is interesting, isn't it? These are just they're knacked. They are knacked. What's this one? Crawl. Ah. It's another one that's knacked up here. Uh, let's see. Look at this. Yeah, look at the state of these. I mean, they're just... These trains are tired. These are freight trains going in all directions, and they are tired. They are very tired. Uh, here is a slightly more modern uh, freight service there. Uh, Ah, now, 
so it's the 13th of July 1946 and some more things are happening uh, because we have got another so let's wait, 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 let me go over to uh, I've got to go to OBS let me get small face back up so Bradshaw 12th of July 1946 a thing is gonna happen that thing being it's another act, it's another law, it's actually the 14th legal instrument being put in place, and it's the Mineral Industry Nationalisation Act. And again, we have got, um, so this the purpose of this law is establishing public ownership and control of the Amphitros mineral extraction industry in certain allied activities and for the purposes connected herewith. Um, and again, yeah, so 12th of July 1946, um, things are happening, folks. Things are happening. So we have um, yet more action going on. Now, uh, where we are? Yeah, good, right, fine. Back to back to the map. Here we are. Let's continue things. So things are kicking off in the background. Something, something, what? Uh, starting to see a trend. Yes, I know, right? There's a bit of a trend going on, whatever it might be. Uh, look at this. This is just delivering boxes at scale to... Uh, the trouble is that these knackered old... Ah! Knackered old trucks. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, right, we're going over here. So, I'm just looking at the state. Like, everything's sort of running fine. I'm trying to just keep an eye on if there's any blockages. So we've got, um, yeah. what else have we got? Is there anything really clogged? It all seems to be moving. Uh, yeah. It all seems to be moving. Anyway, we're going to head back down to Amphitros, uh Airport. It's the uh, 1st of August. It's about to be. First of August has just struck. You might think, well, what's happening? Well, on the first of August, a new airline is born. Oh, you might think, wait, what? Why? A new airline is born. So we have got currently we have the Archipelago Aviation Company. Here it is. Doing its thing. But we are now going to see. So I'm gonna plant let's plant a new our new a new line. So we're gonna go from uh we're gonna go from uh, now, are we going to use? Are we going to make use of it? What should we do? Should we make use of one of the new airports? Like, well, not new, but one of the airfields, and, and then kind of uh, make connections that way. Is that is that maybe a thing to do? So we could, yeah, could be, could be, you no. Know. Uh, or perhaps do we make use of um, of Hove and, and kind of do it that way? Well, for now, let's uh, go to that line and click. We're going to start here. And we're going over to... Uh, where do I want to take us to? Probably going to just take us straight over to... Um, there we are. And this new airline is going to be called the Amphitros... Uh, Amphitros... Medit... Uh, I've got a spell... Uh, uh, and it's the uh, it's the service to um, oh actually you know what let's just call it let's do this it's AMA and it is um, Bradshaw Bradshaw to Shanklin that's basically what's happening isn't it and what colour shall we make it well I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with let's go with red let's give it a nice red. And we need to put make an aircraft, make an aeroplane happen on it, don't we? So let's do that. Uh, and what should we do? Should we get the yeah? Let's do it. Let's get this new uh, two aircraft. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay. Um, I just want to do this. Uh, oh yeah, they're in here. Uh, I'm going to put them onto this line. And what we're going to what's their what's their company the call sign going to be? Because They've got some nice, like, so these are all R as in Archipelago. Oh, they're all Arc, actually. But this one's going to be, um, yeah, these ones going to be A dash Am. Um, uh, that's Amma. Nice. This probably isn't going to spell anything dubious. That's fine. Uh, Amab. There we are. And let's let's paint them red. Let's, let's, let's paint them both a nice shiny red. Um, and, uh, kick things off yeah 
the first airline running. Uh, don't worry about the fact that they've all uh, smooshed into one. Look at this, very nice. Very nice indeed. That's the first um, first of that. Um, yeah, no, we need to angle those air, 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 uh, runways into the wind. It's true. They uh, they don't focus in the right way. Yeah, look at that. It's a red DC-4, and it looks great. like that very much. Very nice. Uh, AMAB, all Mediterranean Airways are bastards. <laughs> uh, nice. So, uh, forgot a letter. Wait, never mind. Yeah, no, it's fine. I fixed it. Um, there we go. So, here we are. Let's go this way. That's the first area. Do you think we do, any suggestions for another line? Do you think, should we do, do another one? You know what might be quite good is if we config, uh, as actually, uh, no, I don't want to configure that. I want a new line. Is actually to then put a new line in from Amphitros to, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go from Amphitros and we're going to go over to Notaros, the, uh, there we are. Uh, there we go, and um, what is it? It's AMA Bradshaw to not to loss. There we go. You know what we probably do is not have the word Bradshaw in front of it, because obviously. Um, uh, now this one we need it. We need a. Uh, 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 what are we going to do for the um? What aircraft can we put on this one? We can probably just put the same again. It's, it's, a, it's a big enough runway. It can deal with it. Let's do it. Let's do that. Let's, um... Yeah, let's do precisely that. Uh, get another one of these. Lovely. There we go. Buy one of these. Uh, what is it? It's uh, A-AMAC. Uh, lovely. Uh, it's going to be red. And we're going to plonk it onto... Uh, there we are. Very nice. Uh, and yeah, that should be working now, shouldn't it? So that's a nice. Uh... All right, now do, where, where else? Any other suggestions? Where do you want to go? Get some comments, make them crash. Thanks, John Christoph. Um... <laughs> there we are. Uh, Jermaine's asking what the uh, what the official language of uh, Amphitros is. Uh, Amphitros is uh, it's English because there is a massive um, British diaspora here, and it, so it is British. British is the um, is the natural language, but there is an acknowledgement of the of the roots of the island. So, um, hence, hence the fact that there, you know, some of these islands, the geography is they're, they're reverting back to their endonyms. Um, these planes are armored, but later transitioned. Yeah. Uh, so right, that's happening. Oh. So that's hopefully that's now gonna they're gonna come out there. There we go. Oh, any suggestions as to where else they need to go? Uh, where else should they go? Should they go... We've got this. So if we just look at it... So we've got that going that way. Do we want something to go up to... Is there anything going up to... To rally? Uh, let's see. I don't think there is, is there? Oh, in which case, that's probably a good idea. One more, which is going to be... Uh, from Amphitros to... Uh, it's right, from Bradshaw up to... Up to rally. There we are. Uh, AMA rally. There we go. Marvellous. Uh, and yes, we need to have another one of these. Uh, two of these, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, lovely. Um, and lovely. And paint them red. And put them onto. What's that line? Yeah. We're going to do that. Now, if... Yeah, so there is a service that runs up the coast. There is... Yeah, there's, there's already a service that runs up the coast. Up to Lowestoft Airport. So we're going to leave that one for now. But definitely, that's something... They're, they're definitely... They're, there's only so much they can do at once. So that's what they're going to... They can kick off with those three. So they're going up to the north, over to the islands, and then over to Shanklin as well. Uh, very nice. Uh, Bristol Freighter takes passengers too, by the way, uh, in case you should like to use one later. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, lovely. So. Oh, let's see. Uh, for anyone not on the Discord, so Joseph June, um, 
No, the the map that we currently have uh, that you can, that's the link on the video is is rail only really. Uh, it's a rail only map because it's very very detailed for railways. But there is a more generic map that's currently under uh, creation, and that will have airports and industries and all sorts of jetties, harbors, uh, everything, forest roads, the works, all of that stuff. Good stuff will be on it, um, so you'll be able to to see all that good stuff on that map when it eventually does get published. Oh. Uh, there we are. So, there's this tra uh, This aircraft taking off. It's off to Nottidos. There we go. I wonder how popular that'll be. Uh, interesting. Anyway, right, so, there we go. Perfection. Good stuff. What is it? It's September the 27th, 1946. And, okay, there's some changes going on here and there. Uh, there's an acknowledgement of, like, uh, quite a lot of change going on in the background but basically things are kind of pretty similar for everyone there's no radical shift there's certainly no sort of dramatic alteration to the societal structure at this point it's just a shift you know the uh, the APS aren't you know they're not they're not uh, sort of they're not Stalinists uh, they are you know they're not they're not going around purging yeah, there is an acknowledgement. Yeah, you know, they were they were kind of uh, you know there was a gen there's a general post war in the same way there was in Britain, although it was an elected one. There is a post war consensus that the the APS is formed of people who kind of drove the the kind of the wheels of industry, and they very much have the workers behind them. They've got the all this industry that's happened during the war means a lot of people who are a lot of skilled artisanal uh, kind of industrial workers who are uh, keen to, to, to who are keen to take control of of, of uh, you know take control of matters and not be run by another country so uh here we are. why are they sad react jack why are you sad um ah no so right okay it's 18th so 10 days ago a thing happened that i think we should talk about um a thing did happen oh yeah that's right <laughs> yeah i have a i have a thing that i could have showed you that i didn't that i should have done so let's go back to small face so so back in august 1946 uh, at the airport we uh, founded the the um Amphitros, uh, Amphitros, sorry, uh, Mediterranean Airlines. There they are. There's a nice little badge there of uh, Amphitros Mediterranean Airlines. There, lovely little badge. Very nice, shiny, shiny looking badge. And uh, but if we whiz over, whiz across the planet over to London, that there London they have. On the 8th of October 1946, they signed, and indeed uh, worked into law the um, this, which is the. Amphitros Independence Act, 1946. So we talked about the fact that Nye Bevan was interested in, in decolonization. And so it became... Here's a nice... Uh, here is the... You can see it. That's lovely, isn't it? So, yeah, still excited to see the first MiG landing. Thanks, uh, Renault Twinkle. So... Oh, sad reacts about... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you. Thanks, Jack. Um, Joseph, you just... Uh, you leaned on your... Uh, you leaned on your... Uh, screen there so yes here is uh, an act to provide for the independence of amphitros as a country not within his majesty's protection and for consequential and connected matters there you are so this is this is a, you see it's just an authentic scan of the uh, of the amphitros and independence act from 1946 be it enacted by the king's most excellent majesty by and with the advice and consent of the lord's spiritual and temporal and commons in this present parliament assembled and by the authority of the same as follows on the appointed day, Amphitros shall become an independent country, neither forming part of His Majesty's dominions nor entitled to His Majesty's protection. In this act, the expression, the appointed day, means the 6th day of April, 1947. Which is nice. So it's a year after um, unilateral independence was announced. Um, uh, it becomes official according to the British Empire. So, uh, And then three, the suzerainty of His Majesty over Amphitros shall lapse as from the appointed day, and with it all treaties and agreements enforced between His Majesty and the people of Amphitros. All functions exercisable by His Majesty with respect to Amphitros, all obligations of His Majesty towards Amphitros of the people thereof, and all powers, rights, authority, or jurisdiction exercisable by His Majesty in or in relation to Amphitros by treaty, grant, usage, sufferance, or otherwise. There we go. Oh, um... Uh, Joseph June's daughter got 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 you while you uh, got up to grab a drink. Nice. Uh, so Corrett's asking why this is only chapter seven of this act. No, that's not how. It, so so the way. Oh man, uh, look up laws, but the laws are often within much larger collections of documents and laws. So um, what I'd recommend is is uh, googling some laws to see the fact they have like they're, they're part of much larger bodies of of 
of documentation. Uh, it's not just one thing. So I, I don't even understand it, to be honest. But anyway, here is this is a reproduction. So um, there you are. So that's that there is for you to all look at and enjoy. There's a nice scan of it. Very nice. So um, by the way, for any, for any lawyers out there, this is fake. I made this. This is fake. Don't shout at me. This isn't a real law. Amphitros doesn't exist. <laughs> it's fake. I made it. Okay, there we are. That's 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 the lawyers happy, right? Everyone's everyone, we're covered. Anyway, what, what what are we up to? What else are we on? on? Uh, oh golly, I mean, right. So, oh, see, what I mean, there's so much going on. I'm 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 exhausted already. There's so much happening. Um, what if it's voted out of Parliament? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't. I, I think given that uh, Nye Bevan is a pretty vigorous character and is quite intent on. You know, you look at. There's quite a lot of other independents uh, going on at the moment. You know, Transjordan and um, they're dealing with they having to deal with Palestine, um, uh, India, of course. The partition, the horrifying partition of India that was, uh, you know, the creation of Pakistan uh, and all of the kind of horror that went alongside that. Uh, you know, whether ultimately it was a good thing to happen, and independence of India was a, clearly was a good thing to happen. Um, forced partition was. Uh, not a particularly pleasant chapter in history for anyone involved. Anyway, right. So, there you are. It's fine. Everything's good. So, uh, where are we? We're big old Bradshaw. Let's, let's get on with things, right? Stop faffing. Uh, John Kristoff is saying, if we wanted to form a microstate, could we use this document? Well, John Kristoff, no. My lawyers are phoning me up again. Don't. Uh, uh, they're causing me all manner of trouble. Uh, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Oh. There we go. So, um, no, oh, interesting. Right, Bodmin is. I mean, I'm surprised how big Bodmin is. How's Bodmin that large? I don't get it. I do not get it. Um, anyway, right. What we need to do is 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 we are. So we've we've got. Where are we? Let's go down. So we we've, we've nationalised multiple uh, industries at this point. And actually, you know what we need to do? We need to go through and start. You know, the, 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 the enactment, the change uh, is coming soon. And it's, it's worth us paying attention to when that sort of thing's going to happen. The Northern Independence Party screenshotting furiously. Very nice. Um, very good. Uh, where are we? November 1946. Look at this. Liverpool as well. I'm surprised. What's quite interesting is this this sort of long, thin strip along here that's quite... Shall we, um, shall we encourage some growth? I think we should encourage a bit of... I think we should encourage a bit of, uh, oh god, what are our finance up to? Catastrophic there, catastrophic. Let's just pop that there. Uh, if I do that, is that going to be unhappy? Uh, possibly. What about, what can I demolish to make this happen? Uh, yeah. Let's do just a little bit more straight. Oh, you know what? Let's let's curve it up. Let's see what happens if I then. Now, if I go like something like this, oh god, that's absolutely horrific. I'm not going to do something like that. What I'm going to do is uh, just hammer this through here like this. There. It's also there's like a this square here. Also, that's a really old building. Oh, that's not that old. 1914. Okay. Well. Fair. Oh, everyone seems to be getting on with it, though. I mean, you know, wheels of industry and all that. How clogged up is this? Is this unclogged? It looks like this has kind of unclogged itself again. Does that mean that uh, Metropolitan is... I mean, people... Let's face it, people really want to get to South Road, like, in a big way. Crikey. Um, I'm taking bets on what's, nas what's nationalised next. Oh, I couldn't possibly uh, guess or comment on such a thing. Couldn't possibly comment or guess on such a thing, right? So, uh, what is this? This is oh, this is a it's an, it's an oil thing. It's funny. This in the middle of the, the you know, this it's like industry kind of in the middle of the city. Uh, anyway, have these connected yet? Oh, they're so close. What is that? That's brick. So Bradshaw seems to be edging in on Shildon in this case in the battle of what gets what's going to expand to where. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. Also, what's what's this is? Have you noticed this is there's quite a lot of development going on on this side as well, like this side uh, of Bradshaw. I mean, let's not look that road layer. What the heck is that? What is that? 
I mean, they've fair play to the road surfacing, but that to me looks like a landslip, not a, not anything of any value. That's hopeless. Lol. <laughs> Don't know how they've what? Ah, oh, dear me. The planners on this island, They're enthusiastic. Crikey. Uh, yeah, steepest road in the world. I, I, can you call it a road? It's just a. Oof. Be quite fun to go through here in a tunnel, wouldn't it? Uh, is there any freight coming anytime soon? No, is there? No. It's quite cool, though. I think it's quite cool that they've got this. Uh... You remember this used to be a ra pretty much along this alignment. If you remember, that used to be a railway. There used to be a railway, you know, a, a regular old railway. What was it? I mean, you can tell me on the map. Um, so steps by the look of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, yeah, it's this old railway. What was it? The Richmond and Bradshaw Railway, I think, R and B R, um, that used to come round here, didn't it? And it, it used to. It was severed. When was it severed? It was severed when one of the embankments was put in, and that's just, it's not really a functioning railway anymore by the look of it. It's sort of, it used to be quite a busy railway, this. It used to have a lot going on it. It used to be lots of brick being transported in all directions, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that they've kept it, you know, they haven't ripped it up. It's an interesting choice considering that it's, uh, you know, it doesn't go anywhere. I suppose, well, I suppose it goes up to the former Bradshaw Steel. Yeah, this is old steelworks. It's interesting, isn't it? Because that used to also connect. The railway used to connect up that way. And there used to be a big big works there, if you remember, a while back. Not anymore. Um, so, it's January... Well, it's, we're in, well into January 1947. And I, um, I'm getting distracted. So multiple things have just happened in the last sort of few... This, this month. Uh, firstly, let's get our industries up. Because... That's towns. Let's get our industries up. Forgive me. Because... It's high time we... So, if you remember, there's a commencement date on, on a lot of the industrial stuff. Um, well, that's because it's time to... Where are we? Let's go down here. You see the, all those ones with the star disused, so it's just kind of to remind me. But we've got a load of AAOC stuff here. It ain't AAOC anymore. This is because the um, AAOC has been officially reformed into the Amphitros Petroleum Company. So it's now... APC, the Amphitros Petroleum Company, Blackpool Oil Refinery, there it is. Uh, I'm going to do the same here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I just want to click on it. Uh, APC, there we are, lovely. Uh, and same again. I did it again, didn't I? Click on the text. Remind me to click on the text. Uh, so the grip, that, that kind of imperial grip on the resources of a, of a now what is a sovereign nation has been not just loosened, but entirely severed, which is good. Happy days. Uh, there we are. Marvellous. Uh, good. Get rid of that. I think there are quite a few railway lines that have, you know, like routes that still refer to AAOC. And it might take a while for all of those AAOC references to be eradicated. But for now, we're going to just suffice by renaming all of the, uh, and kind of reclaiming all of these uh, industrial sites. If you remember, that's not the only nationalisation that happened. Uh, because there's a nationalization of the uh, there's the the mineralization the, the nationalization of the mineral industry happened as well now that means we're gonna have to work our way around and find all of these mineral places and nab them nab them uh, how many of these did, how many of them are there crikey it's a big old industry isn't it uh, yeah there we are lovely AOC R.I.P. Good. That was A-A-O-C for anyone trying to, like, crop my voice, you swines. Here we are. Uh, that's it. Last one done. Very good. Hooray! Officially nationalised. Uh, sort by product. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. That's uh, exactly what we're going to do. The thing is, yeah, we can do that. So, we're going to start with... Uh, oh, it's all down at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, there we are. So, uh, our open coal mines are... So we've got this, 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 this is an interesting one, Brath, Bradshaw North Coal Mine isn't actually in use anymore, there's nothing in it, so that, don't worry about that, it's gone, it's closed. Uh, what about this one, I think it's the same, nothing, yeah nothing, so actually that is there, it's not, it's not functioning. Now, who's going to be annoyed, the, the, whoever now owns the Kroll Company, Consolidated Kroll Company, what is it, Kroll Cons Consolidated Construction Limited, owning Molten Coal Mine. Now, what is the organization that has been arranged to... Um, actually, I need to do some schwizzing over here. Now, where's it gone? There we are. 
the organization that has been created by the actually was it in the, the legal thing if i find it if it's in the legal instrument actually was it uh no it isn't it's not they, they left it pretty ambiguous as to what was going to happen uh so this this one over here this is a molten this is molten coal mine so it is ccc limited but it's now going to be owned by the amphitros mining board amb there it is boom uh, and likewise, the the one up at Melksham North, that's now AMB. That's North Coal Mine. Uh, and uh, this one as well is going to be, go through here, AMB, lovely. And this one as well. Happy days. Uh, not AMM, not Amphitros Mines and Minerals. No, it's the Amphitros Mi uh, Mineral Board. Uh, no, Mining Board, sorry. Uh, there we are. Yep. Uh, so that's only the start of things so let's just pop that there uh, i keep forgetting to put space in so let's just copy the space as well uh, lovely pop that boom uh, finsbury hailwood company now what's happening to hailwood company come on well tough monkeys it's gone uh the orpington steel limited coal mine that's also now just the orpington coal mine it's been nationalized uh, Shanklin Steel. Uh, oh yeah, there's a coal mine here. Yeah. Marvelous. There we go. Um, glorious. So I saying in this world, maybe Britain declared independence from Amphitrop. No, no, no. Uh, this is just we're somewhat of a divergence in paths. The second half of the 20th century is too complicated for us to have continued to be like a loose, ambiguous thing. Too many interesting things need to have like some level of specificity. Um, there we go, that's that, and then that's not the only minerals, though, because we've got all this lot as well. So this is also, uh, uh, oh, there we are, and this as well, Stamford ore mine. It gives you an idea of what industry we've got on the island, though. It's a little excuse to Wart Hill ore mine, also now AMB, uh, and CCC Limited is AMB. Yep, there we go, Wooler. What else have we got? Finsbury ore mine. And uh, Forland Point Mine. Oh, there we are, Forland Point Mine. Uh, AMB also. Yeah, Halewood Company's ore mine is now just Halewood ore mine. Oh, angry leftist noises. Yeah, that's it. Am I going to flip the script and say nationalisation is bad? Uh, well, particularly this situation. Uh, actually, is this this is just isn't used, is it? That's just uh, idle, I think. Uh, likewise, this one. So all these old Morton Hampstead. Uh, oh no, I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? These ones are all disused, I think, they, which is interesting. I think they used. To, yeah, these ones used to, of course, have like stuff used to use the f the. Um, yeah, because these used to be sidings, weren't they? Where are they? I can't see them. Yeah, this like does this get? This doesn't get used at all. Nothing calls in it. Um, I think this is another one. Yeah, it's just not used. In the middle of the city as well. Uh, this is Orpington again, so uh, that's Orpington all mine now. To be honest, the thing that I'm, the point of this series is going to be showing that it's not so much that a given ideology or you know is is good or bad, although that's definitely the case. It's that it's more complicated than that. Uh, what's this one? There? This is the yeah Stevenage all mine, which is now AMP, lovely, and then. That's that, I think. That's all of the ore. So that's all our minerals officially nationalised. It's not the only thing that's going on. Um, uh, are the Orpington mines actually used? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we go up to Orpington. Uh, we're in Orpington. We're here. Yes, because they're used by... So Orpington has the has Orpington Steel Limited, which relies on uh, coal and ore from here. So if we go here, suppliers, you can see shipping yeah pretty epic amounts of, of shipment coming from uh, these two uh, kind of uh, producers uh, there we go so anyway that's all going on uh, it's, it's like just like a clog load of minerals uh, being shipped around and yes there are lots of trains and uh, actually you know what we could do this and then go and if I now go actually I'm doing this just this way uh, and that way, there's nothing there. Trains. Why is that not? I think. 
Why is that working? Is that that should? Yeah, there we go. See, it's all there's a, there's a few. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, what was it? It's APC. Lovely. This is the oh. <laughs> Doesn't work too well to be honest. Uh, maybe I need to do it this way and then like highlight them. Yeah, see, there's a fair amount of lines that need to be made. All the vans are still green and blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll, we'll... Uh, you know what? Let's pop you there. Pin, pinned. Good. Uh, good, lovely, right. I like a good, I like a good nationalisation, you know? Uh, what we, what colour are we going for these? They're kind of this, this green colour, but I think, uh, it should be red. Like red. Uh, APC, lovely. And... APC and APC. You know what? They're not wasteful. Maybe they won't be red. Maybe they're going to keep it green because. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Have I just done that for several? I don't know. Uh, lovely. Uh, grand. And this one. This is this is the stuff you tuned in for, folks. This is this is the high quality. YouTube content that you desperately craved and hoped for, uh, which is the mass nationalization of industry. Hooray! Let's go. Let's do this. Um, now we're going to explore. We're going to kind of see how this how this goes. What's the, what's the result? What's it going to do? Is it going to be bad? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be completely not changing anything? Uh, we have a socialist government in. We literally have a socialist government in charge of uh, of the islands. That's that's a good thing, right? Surely it means utopian times for the railways. Uh, this also is just going to be... And also this. And... There we go. Uh, and... Oh, goodness me. There's so much in the way of... It. So much... Um, thing is, it's useful to be able to... The reason I have the, comp the, like, the names of the organization holding these is because it's useful for filtering to kind of keep on top of what the, you know, what the age of the trains is and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, right, so let's get rid of that filter and then just check. Um, I don't think I... Did I screw one up? No, I don't think I did. That's fine. Good. Uh, oh, yeah, this one, which is... I'm going to put it back to green because actually... Um, yeah, they're, they're, the reason they're not being wasteful, they were all green because they were, the, the Anglo Archipelago Oil Company had green vans. They're not going to waste money. They're just going to keep it green because it saves them to repaint everything. So that's good, right? Oof, anyway, right. Time to scratch that. Uh, let's see. What's that? Uh, did you see my suggestion above about the unused sidings in Shildon? I actually reckon they could be used for both fuel services. Oh, really? Uh... Possibly. Interesting. Okay. Ah, right. More things are happening that I've not been yammering on about. So if I go back to Smallface, uh, London, 10th of January 1947, because we just, if you remember the previous act, uh, disbanded all of the um, uh, all of the connections, all of the legal arrangements and treaties between the British Empire and, um, you know, between London and Bradshaw, if you like. Um, but now we have a treaty an actual treaty uh, being recreated and connecting. So this is a treaty of alliance between His Majesty in respect of the United Kingdom and the people of the Amphitros Social Republic. Um, agreed in, on the 10th of uh, January 1947. Um, so good stuff. So that's being written as we speak, which is exciting, isn't it? Um, let's hop back in here and see what else is going on. Uh, lovely. So that's all kicking off. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, uh, the railways are kind of starting to get themselves organized a bit. That's a good point. We need to fix this um, freight situation. So, Leo, explain what you're, what you're doing. So, uh, I didn't. If you explain it, what's the route that we're going to be aiming for? What, what are we doing with those trains? Uh, they, at the moment, they come through and they whiz. Actually, which route do they take? That's worth just checking, actually. They come off that. See, so really, I want them to be on the... Could we get them onto the... Could, would they... If they ran through there, would they... Uh... Yeah, I don't... I'm trying to work out a way to get them to then come through as f freight only. Is there a crossover that they could take? Hmm. Oh, yeah, they could do that, couldn't they? Basically, I need to just sort of see what... I need to set them to come through on the freight here to, to kind of 
uh, get them off the metropolitan lines even earlier. I'm still in small face. Oh, yeah. Thanks, everyone. There we are. Um, Rainbow Year of Nationalization, yeah. Um, so I've what they've what so what yeah I'm not quite sure so I don't still don't think so they come off right let's just follow them up what do they do what do they do so they come up from here because they're basically using the metro lines down here as well but they don't seem to cause too much pain down here actually they seem to flow pretty well and they, they yeah um, so they come up there And they, then they're running along here. Would it be better to get them on that freight line? And then, oh no, not that one. And they're not running too much. What speed is it doing? It's not hugely fast, but equally, I don't know if there's actually. Um, I don't know if the trait, if there's actually much of a chance to improve the curvature through there. Uh, possibly a bit. Yeah, it might be a bit actually. It's something to think about. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try to... Let's see. There we go. Doing that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Grand. Anyway, yeah, that's a good point, actually. So, and Jermaine's just pointed it out. Meanwhile, the things that are going tremendously successfully... And actually, it's a good point. So, so this is all kicking off, but I'm not paying due attention to some of the other things that are happening on the island. Uh, key one being... Do, 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 do. It's just... Do some of this action. Uh, key one being that. Uh, let's go there and go over to. Uh, oh, sorry, bus lines is what I want. Key one being that there are more buses happening. Buses are becoming more of a thing. And so let's see. So that's bus going in there. That's in Droitwich. Let's get another bus service. So so the, the bus company down here was the is the Three Cities Corporation, right? Uh, number two. So let's go up to Nottingley, because we clearly need to get a, a decent bus service running in Nottingley. Where are we going to run it from? I think we need to probably but maybe have one... Uh, what do you think? Should we have one that runs... What do you reckon? Uh, I'm not sure, you know. Uh, also, I definitely want to try and... I definitely want to uh, steer... Definitely want to like steer development of the island a bit because I think it'd be quite fun to have like a uh, yeah. No, no, no! I don't want to do that. It needs to be uh, or maybe I do want to do that actually. Ah, no, I do not want to do that. It's gross. Uh, and and kind of. That and then maybe yeah, that'll do. That's more like it. It's a bit of a, a bit of a road that can then development can start happening off that. I think uh, there. Yeah, that's nice. Bit of bit of this and that going on. Um, bit of expansion, you know. Uh, that's nice. Uh, the reason I've done that is partly because I think we need to sort of place some some more buses. This we need to expand. Uh, bus services. Uh, before I do that, I need to build some bus stops. So, so let's do just that. Let's place a bus stop. Let's uh, let's have one up here. Another one, like here, and then another one maybe here, and then another one sort of uh, maybe. I just want to make sure it's reaching. Kind of on a bit of an overlap with the previous one. So let's go. Let's go here, and then another one. Where's that? That's like, yeah, another one there, and then another one. Ah, where do we want that one now? Because that's kind of, yeah, maybe. Uh, where, where did I place that previous one? I've got, I've gone and got lost already. Yep. Yeah, okay, down. Yeah. Okay, so here, and then another one. I think another one here. Yeah, should do it. What do you think? Uh, agreement, disagreement with said bus. Uh, okay, a new line. Where are we gonna go? We're we gonna go from. 
that there to there to there. I'll name these afterwards, don't worry. That's one, uh, so we're going to call that uh, number three. And it's it's yellow, isn't it? If they've got this nice yellow colour they seem to be using here. Uh, uh, clearly that's not all. We need another one. We need another bus uh, a bus service. And I think it needs to run down from like... Uh, I think we need to have it from, come from like down here. Uh, then running... What are we going to do? Run up to... Where's that road? That's... That's actually maybe not such a bad idea. Run it up to... Uh, yeah, maybe like here, actually. And then another one over... Uh, now, do we want it? It's kind of... Yeah, okay, okay, we're going to do it here. And then up... Or do we want to do it? Or do we want it to kind of cut round here? Actually, you know what? Maybe we want it to. Uh, maybe we want it to cut round here. Is this going to make anything else disappear? I don't think so. Yeah, no good. That's there. Because I think it then needs to run up here through the centre of town, right? There we are. And then another one. Now, where's the other bus stop? Is there one? Yeah, okay. That'll come up there. Now, where, where, where's the nearest one from that? That's on the other line. If I just put that slap bang in the middle. Oh, you know what's not helpful is not being able to... Is that I've switched them off. There we are. Oh, no, it's nice and close. Good. Uh, I think that's fine. So that's going to then have one kind of running through the middle. I don't think that's the end of the story, though, because we could ben probably benefit from one kind of running kind of a long words and up the other side, perhaps. But let's let's place this next this next one first. So what was that? Yeah, lovely. New line. I'm going to call it number four. And it's going to be yellow. And we're going to place it... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. That was dumb. I'm going to go from... Uh, what was it? Here to here to here to here. This one's a bit. Uh, it's a bit close, isn't it? Should we? Do, do, is that fine? Or maybe we should just delete that one, actually. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then what was it? Albert Road, and then here, and then back to there again. And then on the road. And obviously I need to rename all these to, to work. There. That's not bad. That's uh Oh. If I don't I've not forgotten Chester Road, maybe? What's that? Manor Manor Road. Five, six. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah okay, that's that's me. Need to go. Oh, it's interesting that it goes that way. Why is it doing that? Oh whatever. Okay, fine. Good. Buses. Miss Downtown. Yeah, yeah, lovely. I fixed it. I fixed it. Uh, pop a route through the area southwest of the station. Yeah, like here. Yeah, you're right. I kind of need something to go from like... Yeah, like one that goes like that. Okay, yeah, you're right. We're going to do exactly that. It's a very good idea. Uh, so like maybe maybe just have one like here. Starting there and then coming down uh, through... I suppose it's going to come through the same spot, isn't it? So... But I, I'm going to pop a station there. So, uh, no, actually, I'm not going to do that there. I'm going to do it. So it comes off there. I'm going to do it here. And then it's going to come through that one. Then that one. But then, from there, it's going to go... Um, there. And uh, another one. Let's pop another one here, I think. And then another station. Another bus stop, rather. What do you think? Here. Oh, and that'll do, maybe. That that perhaps is... is adequate. So that's another one. Let's do another line. Call number five. How did time-wise, by the way? What's the actual time? Weirdly, it's 1946 on in actual time. Um, uh, there we are. So, let's do that, and then... 
How are y'all doing, by the way? Y'all well? How are you? Um, I hope you're reasonably healthy and happy, uh, dear viewers. Uh, and then that one, wasn't it? And then this one, and then and then this one. And then back. Back through here, and then through here, and then through here. That looks like a reasonable service to me. I know mean, we're missing one fundamental thing, of course. Which is actually making buses appear. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, I think there's a road depot. We're going to build a new one, though. Or are we? Ah, oh, we don't need to build a new one. Let's just let's, let's rename this Nottingley Bus Depot. Nottingley Bus Depot. Uh, and we need to. How many? We just did. So let's buy. Uh, twenty-four of these. And uh, we're gonna paint them all yellow. And we're gonna put. Uh, eight of them on to number three. We're going to put uh, eight of them on to number four. We'll put the rest on to number five. That should work, right? What do you think? Thoughts? Um, very flued up. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, uh, Jack. Sorry to hear that. Um... Relaxing evening. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, these are always supposed to be quite relaxed evenings, right? It's not an intensive situation. Um, there we are. There's now, there should now be an insane number of buses start popping out of here. Jeez, it sounds like an oncoming storm, isn't it? Uh, hi, Steve M4. Yeah, you made it to a live one. They're very relaxed, Steve. Uh, so, but I think, I think they are slightly more, hopefully slightly more pleasing for being that bit more relaxed. We all share it together. Uh, which is which is nice, I think. Um, there we are. So that that's all kicking off, lovely. So we've got some buses going on down there. Now, what about Harrogate? Harrogate has got it's got a load of all, but it has not got. Um, is that BS and WR Flitic Spanners delivery? Oh, it's deliver. Oh, it's the delivery in Flitic. Well, we haven't got any bus services really. And we certainly haven't got any, like, yeah. Um, so that's until lane tracks. Yeah, that gets intense. So it's, it's, I'm, I'm sort of, like, pleased that there's not too much intensity at this point. I think we need to, like, think about Harrogate, don't we, for buses. Let's pause again. Uh, are we, uh, what do you think? Are you unhappy at the idea of, of this? Or are you at peace with me creating some more bus services? How are we going to do this, though? I think there needs to be a bus stop down here by this bridge. That's the first one we're going to lay. And then another one. Uh, ah, another one here, actually, at the station. That makes sense, doesn't it? At the Harrogate Bay station. Then another one, like, uh, yeah, like here. Yeah, just a nice one, sort of, here. And what about, so from that point, it disappears off. So let's then take the bus, take the bus over to to here and then like that maybe yeah like there and then or do we want to go down and th like through the station again maybe like up round yeah maybe we do actually maybe this one we want to be a yeah let's let's do that let's put the next one now interestingly if I put that here it's actually yeah, that's fine, actually. It's fine. We can do that. That comes through there. And then... Oof. From there, where are we going to go? We're going to go up to, like... Maybe, yeah, here. Um. Uh, north, south, and an eastern loop. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Up there, and then... And then maybe one... From this point, then, we probably want one, like... We can extend it later, but let's let's put it there. That that that's one. Or do we want that to kind of continue round and then go off? You know, we'll we'll leave that there because I think we'll use that. But uh, yeah, potentially we want that road to then. We want to pop a bus stop 
here, I think, which I know sounds crazy. Uh, what's that feeding? I'm just going to check what that's feeding. That's quite distant from everything. I, I think, yeah, I'll go through that, then that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Then from there, we want it to go to, I think... Uh, yeah, let's pop it to here. This flat point here. Then we're going to go up to this station here. Let's bust up to one side, actually. Uh, yeah, I just want to go a little bit further over that, that way, yeah. Okay, uh, that's one. Let's lay that one. So, uh, new line. Uh, number six. Is it number six? Uh, I don't know if it is, actually. Where's it over here? Oh, yeah, it is number six. Lovely. Uh, we're going to go up here. We're gonna... What was the first one? It was down here, wasn't it? So, here. Then here. Nope. Stacked it already. Uh, here, then here. Then, then here. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. That's going that way. Then what was it? There's this one. It's not too not too bad. Then down through here. This funny old corner of industrial nonsense. And then there we go. And then we're gonna return. Make our return. There. And yes, I know I need to rename all the station at uh, the bus stops. I, it's quite a laborious task, and I'll I'll get around to it. And I'll show you the next episode. I'll show you all the nice names that we've got for them. Um, there we are. So that's that. Uh, it's a municipal bus corporation. I think looking at that, I think we need like uh, we need one perhaps coming like coming round. Perhaps what do we want to do? Do we want to have like one coming from? Perhaps we have one coming from this bus, the, the station here, actually. Maybe that's one way to do it, is, is to have a... Have one there. And then another one... Yeah, so have one up. Let's just place a bus stop up here as well, actually. That comes up there, and then... What do we want? Like, uh... Yeah, one there. And another one, what do you think, like, yeah, we'll let the bus work out what the best way is. Uh, that, why is that not connecting that well? Because it's super steep. Okay, fair enough, whatever. Fair enough. Uh, then another one, yeah, I could bus stop here, that works. And then another one, what do you reckon? I think maybe one like, yeah, there. And then... Now, when I, if I place, if it's here, at what point does it start serving that one there? Okay, yeah, so maybe one more, like here. Yeah, okay. Does that make sense? So that's kind of a slightly weird, we probably then need one that goes from this side round. Let's lay that, let's, um, let's place that one for stars. Uh, yeah, I think it makes sense to have three. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, folks? Uh, uh, and then it was there, and then it was there, and then... Uh, I might fiddle with these as well. Like, for example, I might fiddle with them to... Well, to be honest, one bus stop's fine there, actually. So that's going that side. That's kind of covering that. I think we need one that goes, like, through... Like maybe through then to the station and then down to here. That might be the way to do it. So let's which means we've kind of got a redundant bus stop up there actually, doesn't it? That's fine. We'll get rid of that. Um so if I go Right, so how are we gonna do this? What do you reckon? We definitely need to have a bus stop. It's going to come over the over there and then through, so that will come through the island this side, I think. So come through there to there, 
Now, if, if I place one here, how well is that serving this side of the island? Possibly not that well, but if I place it sort of... That'll do to the docks. Yeah, exactly, to the docks. And then another one maybe here. And then it probably ending... Yeah, like ending here, I think. And then if it comes around this side, it's going to come over... We thinking over here, then maybe one just like, yeah, the, oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I can place it there and that'll replace it, lovely. And then, yeah, like, just one here, perhaps. Okay, new line, number six, seven, eight, wait, what? Six, seven, eight, what? Surely it should be, what is it? Three Six Corporation, one, two, three. So this one, no, no, this. So we've got the, the first one is down here. Oh, so it's because there's only two down in, ah, yeah, okay, that's why. That'll, that'll do it, that'll explain it. Uh, go back to this and then go back to Harrogate. Okay, so yellow. And then start from this side. So it was one over here, and here, through the station, through here, to there, to there, to there. Any anyone else having any um, better suggestions? There we go. I mean, I suppose I could have just ended it on this one, couldn't I? But I thought, yeah. Now, if I do this and do that, doesn't seem to have done anything of any value. It's really confused the hell out of. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That's the way you're going. Then very bizarre routing, but whatever. I suppose I could have had that one go up maybe this side. Oh, maybe that's what I should have done. Yeah. Oh, okay. In which case, it's going to go from here So it's going from here to... Right uh, And then up to a bus stop we've not built Where is that bus stop going to be? Just sort of here, I think Just sort of yeah, like on the corner here. Very nice. Uh, to there, and then... Yeah, that's that'll do nicely. So it's kind of going to the other side. Yeah, that'll do. Why don't I double end the bus stops just to have one? Why do I double the end bus stops? Because uh, it's because it stops the bus disappearing off in a weird direction. Uh, that's why. Then, uh, I don't know. I've just always done it that way. Can't really explain it. Shipyard refinery works. We need another um, road thing. So let's do that. Let's place another road depot. Where's it going to be? You know what? Because so many vehicles are down this end. I think we're going to place it um, here. Uh, like, like this, perhaps. Or should we place it yeah, parallel with the railway? I think we should, probably should place it parallel with the railway there. Like, like that. There we are. Uh, uh, Three Cities Corporation, Junction Depot. There we are, lovely. Uh, and we're going to go into this place and we're going to buy a dump ton more of these buses that seem so popular. Uh, there are. Buy those, paint them yellow, and then chuck a load of them at various bus lines. Uh, there, that one's going to go to number six. That one's going to go to number seven. And these are going to go to number eight. Lovely. There. I think that should be fine. Uh, there's now going to be a tremendous rumbling as all these buses 
escape into the right direction. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Any, any, anyone else? Any thoughts? I have my logic. Uh, route 7 doesn't serve the main station at all, whereas Route 8, stop, route eight stops there twice. Wait, what? Route 7? Uh, have I just missed it? Uh, route 7? Let's name this one for, for starters, because this is what is, this is Harrogate, Victoria. Uh, just so that everyone, so it's easier to spot. Uh, so this calls number seven calls zero times at, at that one. That that makes sense because it's over there. So we mean uh, that's running on that coast. So that's why that makes sense. Number eight, sorry, number eight uh, is calling. I'm going to station twice. That's fine. I'm saying swap. Swap them to just. I'm not following actually. Uh, this is a municipal bus company, Lawrence. So this one is a. This is a, a company. A bus. Uh, essentially, the council has funded it, but it's as a limited company. So it's as a corporation rather. Uh, let's see. So that's there. Number six. Harrogate, Victoria. Harrogate, Victoria. Not quite sure what. Eight stops at east and west sides of Victoria Station. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I know, but that's because it's serving this side as well. It's serving this urban area. Uh, oh, I see. So you, I could just, yeah. No, it's it's staying there. It's fine. It's fine. It makes sense. I'm happy with it. I'm not saying it has to be perfect. You can discuss improvements in the Discord. If there are definite improvements to be made, which there probably are, then yeah, chuck them my way in the Discord. It's definitely what the Discord server... The Discord server's got a lot of people discussing about what's going to be happening in 20 or 30 years. Stop doing that and start discussing where I can f make my bus routes better. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> right. What is it? It's March 29th. Uh, cool. Hey, we're coming up to the first anniversary of, um, of Independence. Our first one year of an independent Amphitros. That's exciting. In five days, in fact. Um, very exciting. What's this train sat here doing? Nothing. These trains are all sat here, not doing very much at all. Oh yeah, look at this little thing. Ah! It's whizzing along. That's it. It's, it's Independence, what, what are we calling it? National Day of Independence, I suppose. Uh, that's exciting, isn't it? So what is happening in this, in this moment in our, in our island? Well, things are happening. Because uh, we have that Treaty of Alliance, uh, which, um, and indeed this Treaty of Alliance, the ratifications were exchanged, are exchanged today in Bradshaw. So that, uh, basically, yeah, look, presented by the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs to Parliament by command of His Majesty. Um, and this is, yeah, this Treaty of Alliance. So this kind of goes into the relationship that will exist. Um, no, AVG just randomly popped up. Don't do that, AVG. Um, yeah, that pops up, um, pointing out, gloriously pointing out um, uh, all the wonderful things that will happen, the, the trading relationship that will exist. So it doesn't totally sever diplomatic relations, and this is the treaty that establishes diplomatic relations and trading options and opportunities between the British Empire and the Amphitros Social Republic. It's not the only thing going on, though, because... Um, so uh, that was that was London. Uh, I Bradshaw, 6th of April, 1947. Oh, wait, what? That also should have been the previous thing, I think. What else is going on there, um, at this point? Uh, yeah, well, it's basically, that means it's the official end of British rule. So uh, the demise, the, the official formal demise of the Crown Colony British Amphitros. Um, now, some of you are putting bets on for the next, uh, yeah, glory to Amphitros. That's it. Yeah, hooray. Happy Independence Day. Whoop, whoop. Um, get rid of AVG. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> 6th of April 1947, uh, an act is passed. Uh, wh where's it gone? Wait. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm putting Game Face back on. Why has it run off? Why, why has it run off? It's confusing. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, grand. Right. The history is going to continue happening for a little bit because uh, I'm getting my date screwed up. Just just don't, don't mind me. Get me coffee. Lol. Thanks, a guy called Pie. Very good. Uh, it's it's Amphitros. It's actually spelled with an I. Amphitros. 
It's named after the Greek god of, of water, I think, the, the maritime god, which is uh, Amphrotite. So that's where Amphitros comes from. Uh, get nothing, Windows Defender is good enough. Oh, thanks, Jack Elliot. That's, is, that, is that true? Is it true? Do you remember this? Uh, we're talking of things that um, that are happening. I mean, good grief. What is going on here? Is this... Uh, is this brick trains clogging up the whole... Whoa, my goodness. Okay, so a bit of cloggage happening through... Uh, what is going on? The Southern Railway is looking scarily blocked up in a bad way. Look at this. What is going on? I mean, it's not healthy. I presume that's just industry. It's just all the, f the goods trains. But you can see that things aren't in a good way. Like, everything's disorganized. It's chaos. It's just the, the, the signal, you know... The, the, the railways are in... They're not in a particularly great state at this point. You know, they're... they're it's, they're, it's a mess. Why is this, what's this doing now? It's waiting to go that way. Now, why is that not able to go that... Why has it decided it's not going... Is, is it... Why are this... Let me just get the signals up to see what's going on here. Yeah, there's loads of signals. So what's it moaning about? Where's, where's this thing off to? Waiting for a free path. Yes. Uh, yeah. So there, there is definitely a free path for this thing. Why is it sat there like that? Uh, no clue. It's off to... Its next destination is... Oh, I'm I'm stumped. Absolutely stumped. Why is it? Why? Uh, what what is what is going on here? Train, you're quite you give us a fair number of people on board. Why are you ah? Because this thing's going and it's going to route it through. I'm surprised that that has got priority over. This thing, but this thing is clearly does have priority and is hammering on through. Oh, there's no tomorrow. Okay, well, there we go then. Um, thanks, Hussy times two. Um, is it Husey? I'm not sure. Hmm. That'll be why that's part there. Okay, and that being part there, what hell is this? this what fresh and fancy free hell is this causing? This is off to. This is off to. What is it going off to? It's off to. It's, just, oh, it's off to Nottingley, so that is going to be going on the slows, presumably, so that's waiting. Which is in turn causing all the chaos. It's the fact that this thing is just sat waiting there to get its own path that is causing the issues. That's presumably going to now move. It is now moving? No. Okay, why not? I'm very confused by this train. What is its path? What's, what's it doing? Oh, what, wait, what? What is, oh, of course, yeah, of course it's not going that way. It's running this way. So it's just the fact that the, that this is just, that, that it's actually that Nottingley Station is causing headaches. Oh, golly. Uh, right. The Southern is rammed. Good grief. Check roadblock into Nottingley. Uh... Siding for turning traffic, uh, maybe. I mean, there's a definite blockage through through Harrogate is an issue because there's so many trains that come through, and it's the freight train. There's so many. There are a lot of goods trains now that I think are causing the, the blockages. Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? Really, not ideal. I mean, stuff is is moving. Just about. Uh, that's going. That's moving, and that'll just keep going now. Wherever this thing should now, it's off to Droitwich next. So that's going to go off to yeah, down to Droitwich. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm, I'm kind of there. I'm seeing what's going on. Oh, good. This is, I mean, golly, it's a big old railway, and it's very much crikey. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, we can put the signals off because I think signaling wise we're grand. Uh, and just sort of look at the lack of any sort of movement. Uh, put them off as well. Uh, it's getting there. There is there is some movement. There's there's a bit of movement. I think. Has it now turned the Southwestern Joint Railway into just a, a, a parking? Yeah, like a 
a very long, thin car park, a train park. Yeah, very long, thin siding. Uh, anywhere excuse a bypass in, oh, there's, there's no chance of a bypass getting built anytime soon. It's the uh, the island now, having become independent, is very much not quite as flush with the cash. Um, and the private companies have have just got a huge backlog of, of maintenance and vehicles to purchase and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah. Hmm. Here it is. Right, what's this? Okay, let's go. These, I quite like these. these coaches are nice, actually. I like them. They're good. They're uh, very smart. Who was it who first rolled them out? Was it the GNER who first started rolling those out? Uh, yeah, it might be, yeah. Anyway. Oh, look, it's a bus. No one's in said bus, but that's fine. Uh, lovely. There goes that. Fine. Uh, okay, it's, it seems to be moving again a bit. It just looked like there's a bit of a surge of, of cloggage that seems to have now opened out. Yeah, I thought we'd sufficient. I mean, okay, there's definitely still a ripple of like of, of, of sort of traffic effect, but that all seems to be moving a bit now. Does this now sit on the express lines? I hope it does. It doesn't need to be. Oh, yeah, golly. Okay, good. Is that now going to... Yeah, that's now moving. Yeah, because that uses the express, uh, the, the fast lines to just keep cracking on. Yeah, okay, okay, where else is there any problems? If I trace up the southwestern mainline, this... I mean, it's a lot of... Yeah, see how much goods traffic uses this line? It's a lot. Crikey. It's a very pleasingly fast... Look at it, it's a fantastic bit of railway, this. This looks great. Uh, there we are through Wooler. Wooler is... I mean, it's sizable, isn't it? Crikey. This is by f it's a very smart station. The, uh, the 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 Southwestern Joint Railway station up in um, in Wooler is very smart. It's got this nice these nice long wings. It's got the, the four clocks flanking on the station. There aren't that many uh, stations actually dedicated to the, you know. There's only two. There's only um, that one and then the one at Matlock are the two kind of dedicated sort of grand stations. But they're very much like a they're very much a statement when the, when the line was built. I'm sure you all remember. Um, yeah, wasn't I about to make an announcement? Yeah, you're right, I was. In fact, it's the 7th of August right now. And uh, yesterday, down in the newly founded parliament, a fairly newly built parliament building, actually, down in, uh, over in Bradshaw. I don't know where it is. I don't know which building. Hopefully it's that old building. Hopefully they're not going to demolish it. Hopefully it is in that old building. Has it been replaced? It's not yet. I think... I think this might be it. It's just a commercial building, but I've got a feeling that's where they... Upstairs and there's where oh, it could be one of these large things actually. To be fair, there are several large buildings. In one of these large buildings, um, an act that I think all of you might be quite interested in uh, was um, put to print. And actually, uh, you can see the pre you remember the previous acts were all. In fact, let's let's get the old OBS up, shall we? Let's let's get OBS up. So let's get Minshew's face up. So sixth of August, nineteen forty-seven. But actually, if you remember, the old acts were like uh, they're kind of clearly like printed on a type like they're pretty ad hoc. You know, not hugely smart things. Uh, whereas if we whiz to um, 6th of August 1947, an act is published. And that act is the Transport Act 1947. This instrument captures the will of the people of the Amphitros Social Republic as represented by the Governmental House, the National Assembly and the Workers' Committee to make good the following arrangements by the agreed date of commencement. Wait for it. Establishing an Amphitros Transport Commission concerned with transport and certain other related matters to specify their powers and duties to provide for the transfer to them of undertakings, parts of undertakings, property, rights, obligations and liabilities to amend the law relating to transport, inland waterways, harbours and port facilities to make certain consequential provision as to income tax, to make provision as to pensions and gratuities in the case of certain persons who become officers of the Minister of Transport and for purposes connected with the matters aforesaid. Date of ascent, 6th of August 1947. Date of commencement, 1st of January... 19 Actually, that should be 1st of January 1948, shouldn't it? It should be 1st of January 1948. It's a, it's a typo. They're, in a, they're, they're still trying to get their head around things. But the date of commencement is definitely 1st of January 1947. It's the Transport Act 1947, folks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, indeed. That's, they've, just, they've just... 
It's a misprint. They're still working. It's this. The structure of government is still establishing itself. Uh, and here you can see they've um, they've added the nice crest, the nice uh, Amphitros crest up here. Here we are. It's a very nice, smart looking act, isn't it? Lovely. Um. So that's it. So so that's passed. Uh, and, and it, you know, it's passed. Doesn't necessarily mean that anything's changing at this point, though. You know, the law is passed, but that doesn't mean that anything's actually changed at this point. So. Uh, Back to it, with everything shifting and moving and rattling around. Linear nature of time is not yet settled at Amphitrust. Well, indeed. Uh, I'm so pleased it has. Look at the size of it. Also, look, it's... This this nonsense is going on as well. Look at this. What? They've, they've just built... They've, they've, they're going off up the hill. I presume these are super posh houses. Built in 1942. I mean, during the war, these houses have been built. I presume they didn't get planning permission. Good grief. Anyway. Uh, that's all happening. Oh, golly. Amphitros Airport is looking busy. Uh, you know what we might need to do is expand Amphitros Airport, actually. Yeah. How might we do that, though? Because it's, it it's getting very busy, and perhaps it needs a second runway. Hmm. Anyway. It seems to be working. It's not too bad. It's Bradshaw's Hollywood Hills, yeah. Maybe the BSWR will now make 25 million magically disappear now the nationalization has been announced. Yeah, indeed. Um, yeah, perhaps. So, um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's busy, isn't it? I presume that's now going to, there we go. Look at this. It's a busy old airport, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I'm interested to know how the, um, how successfully the, uh, where are they? Where, 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 where? The lines. How, how successfully are these new lines doing? Uh, oh, yeah, get rid of that. How successfully are they doing? I mean, the most profitable ones are decidedly, yeah, this is, the, those ones. Aviation company, so that's, the Archipelago Aviation Company's Biggin Hill service, so that's the service over to, oh, actually, you know what, I need to rename some of those, don't I? Because it's not to Biggin Hill anymore, it's, it's running to, um, oh, let's, it's really easy to rename it here, isn't it? Uh, let me just do this and then switch that off entirely, so, it's Abbeydale to, it's Shilton to Shanklin now, actually. Uh, there we are. Uh, Archipelago Aviation. Shield to Shanklin. Uh, also, they've still got the old name. They've still got that old, like, imperialist name, which is not, not ideal, so, you know. Uh, this is Shield to Lower Stuffed. Okay, fine. Lovely. Shield to Lower Stuffed. Lovely. Uh, this is running from, uh, what is this? This is Bradshaw Shilden. Uh, and this one, what is this? This is Rally to Shanklin, okay. I mean, it says Big and Hill to Cleesby, but actually it is the, oh, actually it's Shanklin to Rally, really, isn't it? Shanklin to Rally. Uh, yeah, I know, right, that, that queuing aircraft oh, just halfway off the runway is. It's getting unhealthily busy, and we're an island, uh, a little happy island nation with, with sunny weather. It's true. Uh, Shanklin, not, not to us. Uh, what's this one? This is... What is this? This is um, Brad Shaw Shanklin. Uh, this is... Uh, Barry Shanklin. Interestingly, it's like Shanklin, actually. This is actually Shanklin Burry. We should call it Shanklin Burry because it kind of looks like Shanklin is becoming their kind of HQ to an extent, isn't it? Uh, let's do that. Uh, there we go. Bradshaw Sheldon. Uh, oh, whoops. You remember they originally were East Coast uh, Airlines of so the other side, but actually it looks like they're they're kind of centralising some of their activities uh, in uh, in Shanklin. Uh, Shildon, uh, uh, Shildon, Shildon, stuff. Shanklin, Shildon, Shanklin Rally, Shanklin Burry, Shanklin Bradshaw, uh, Shanklin Notteros. There we are. Uh, this is what is this? This is. Uh, Bradshaw Lowestoft. 
uh, this is uh, lower stuff to rally. Lovely, that's fine. Nice bit of jazz there for us all, for all of our benefits. That's very nice. Uh, just remind you how many lines they had. They're quite a few, isn't it? Uh, this is Shanklin to Shanklin to lower stuffed. Uh, this is what is this? This is uh, Bradshaw. Bro, Barry. Uh, this is uh, Barry to rally. And this is. Uh, Sorry to lower stuffed. And yes, I've uh, forgotten to delete this bit and all of those. Lovely. And the last one is here. Marvelous. Oh, there we go. Uh, right, which helps because it means I can sort of see what the heck's going on now. Uh, yeah, thanks. I fixed fixed that. Lovely. Uh, jazz for the soul. Jazz. Um, so there we are. And they're not doing too badly, actually. Like, uh, it seems that the new airline is not quite pulling the numbers. I wonder if that's competition or whether it's because the, these these, are, these are aircraft are faster, I presume. Yeah, 132 compared to what's the the? Oh, it seems faster. Is that one slower? Nah, surely not. Surely not. I mean, if I go in here and just like bust out the, the catalog. 226 miles an hour versus 206. No, it's definitely faster. Definitely faster, surely, surely. Yeah. Um, what can they do to be more competitive? I suppose it's a case of uh, getting rid of competing flights, right? That'll do it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right, uh, lovely, yeah, I fixed it. What else is going on? So, September. Uh, I mean, it's quite satisfying. I'm quite enjoying the busy, busy airfield. That's good. Uh, are we, okay, tell you what, folks. Are we wanting to get some more um, airports on the go? Are we, are we wanting to do it? Are we wanting some more regional airports? What airports, do, what places do you think could benefit from having another airport? I reckon we could maybe, because this is, I reckon maybe uh, North Droitwich, you know, the, it's, I reckon Droitwich might be a thing, you know. Uh, let's do it. Let's add. Let's demolish. What are we going to do? Leave the old. Uh, we're going to demolish the old airfield building. You know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. Demolish the old airfield building. It's gone. And uh, put put this here. Uh, there we are, lovely. Oh, you know what? I should, no, you know what I'm gonna. Do? In fact, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this just so I can, uh, just so I can see. There we are, lovely. That looks like that. And so what I'm gonna do is, because I don't. There, lovely. Put that there. And minimize that to that size. Uh, maybe this size. And then what am I going to do? This what is this? Asphalt. Lovely. Very nice. Fine. Uh, and I'm going to just. You'll see where I'm going with this, I'm sure, momentarily. Uh, and. Cause, if I then do this, and then demolish that building. It'll have. There we go. See? Uh, there's the building. What am I going to do? What else do I do? Let's. Uh... What are the sort of bricky, demolishy type things there? There, 
let's just uh, define the outline of the new area of the letter. There, that'll do, I think. They've demolished that, but they've built some new stuff. Fine, we're going to flatten this terrain a bit. Uh, lovely and lovely. And we're going to build a little road. Let's get a nice... Lovely, and... There. Now, I think we're going to place a bus stop. Just place a little... Lovely. Oh, you know what? We don't need the double one. Double one. Uh, nice. Uh, lovely. Um, there we go. Uh, so that's happening. So this is now going to become... What is this now? It currently is. Um, but it's going to become... Drawbridge Airport. Lovely. Uh, it's Drawbridge Airport. Marvellous. Uh, grand. And we're going to have... What am I going to do with it? I'm going to... Uh... Well, I think we should probably need to have some stuff flying through it, shouldn't we? What about down here? Is there anything useful? Actually, have we got any airfields down here? We don't really, do we? Yeah. There's not really anything in Liverpool direction either, is there? Yeah, nothing at all. Anyway, right. I'm getting distracted. Uh, right, so we have multiple challenges, which is there's limited space. So that means that what have we got that's running out of um, Bradshaw that we can basically turf? Actually, we've got, there's the Shanklin Bradshaw service for, where is it, Shanklin Bradshaw, three planes, all of which I presume are rammed, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, and 10 out of 10, hmm, if we, uh, yeah, if I transfer that over to, what are we going to do with that, yeah, if we, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I have plans. New line. Uh, from Amphitros over to this new airfield thing over that they just opened up here. I know we need a bus line to connect it as well. Um, so it's AMA to Droitwich. Lovely. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to paint that red. And what we're going to do is... Uh, where is it? We're going to go to here. We're going to go to here. And what was it? Oh, it's mid aircraft. Uh, it was Shanklin to Bradshaw, wasn't it? Yeah, these. Which I'm then going to transfer to AMA Drawing, which. Oh, cheeky. And then we're going to. Uh, manage line. We're going to delete this line. It's gone. Uh, it, was, it was competing, and now it's no longer competing. We, uh, have we got any, while we're over here, have we got any bus services actually run it? No, we don't, so we need a new bus line. Okay, fine. Uh, we can do that. So, let's do that, and it's going to be new line, and why is it? It's going to be number nine, isn't it? Number nine. Uh, and it's going to be yellow, and we're going to run it from, what's the best place for it? It's probably to go to the square, actually. Uh, yeah, from here to... Uh, let's put it into here, and, and then also here. Seems to run off down that side. Well, fine, okay, it's done that. I'll maybe add some more stops later, but for now we'll just, it'll be a bit of an express bus. How's that? Um, there we go. Uh, very nice. I think... Good. I need to put a bus on it now. Uh, where is our little bus? We've got a, a bus situation here. Where is it? Droitwich Spa Road Depot. Uh, Droitwich uh, Bus Depot. There we are. Uh, and we're going to buy ourselves a shiny couple of buses. Let's go with four buses. Paint them all yellow. And then put them on to number nine. There. So that's connected that to that. It's not a hugely grand bit of road. 
But, uh, okay, fine. So it's got a little bit of a lane, then it goes down, and then it'll arrive. And there is a level crossing as well, look at that. Oh, a level crossing which is getting busy because of the goods that use it pretty spectacularly extensively. Yeah, fair enough. Probably need to put a bridge in there, don't I? Uh, yeah. I possibly need to put a bridge this side. You know what, maybe I'm going to do that right now. It's, it's happening, folks. Uh, lovely. Uh, what are we going to do with that? Ugh. Okay, we're going to do some things with this. We're going to go and do this. I'm going to do... Uh, oh, I'm going to run this along here like, like kind of this. And then I'm going to do something more like... Sort of like that. Actually, let's, let's do it off this first. Yeah, there we are. And then this is going to go up like, like this. And then I'm going to just connect those up. And then I'm going to continue this bit along straight like that. And then do this. There we go. Um, while I'm at it, while I'm while I'm in the mood for it, I'm just going to move this up to that. No, that's horrible. That's a... There we go. Uh, doesn't actually help us much yet because I've not connected it up on the other side. Uh, there we go. Oh, now, do we want that to be the main... Now, what we do? That road goes off up that direction. Which is a main connection, but probably what we want to do... Oh, balls. You know what? I haven't done, though. Maybe we keep it that way. Uh, I was going to say it should be Earth. Earth, you know, it, it should be Earth. Let's, let's face it. Uh, yeah, connect that to that. Lovely, that's better. Yeah, that just looks, it just looks correct. It doesn't look right when you do the arch approaches. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to do... Right, no. First, I'm going to do this. Oh, shit, which, which... It's this gravel, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, good. Let's do this, and then oh, demolish this first. Oh, don't do that. Do that, and then do this. Fine. Uh, and then do that sort of thing. Lovely. And probably what we can do is then upgrade this to this. Very nice. Uh, oh, there we are. That kind of makes that a main road now, I suppose. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, that'll give that. Then that'll go that way and blah blah blah. Uh, I suppose that can then become a bit of a nice. Why? Why you do this? I just want you to connect up nicely. Is that horrible? No, it's fine. That lovely. Uh, let me do the same on that one. Yeah, grand. Lovely. That does that. That goes that way. Happy days. That'll help with the bypass situation. I'm hoping that'll mean that the bus chooses to do that, which it seems to be. Happy days. Uh, nice. Okay, good. Uh... That is, that's running fine, theoretically. Uh, this airline now, the AMA that's shotgunned those uh, DC-4s, uh, is running happily. Oh, it's DC-3. Oh, no, it's nicked some DC-3s, isn't it? Let me just see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's nicked a bunch of... Uh, yeah, it's nicked a bunch of DC-3s off... Uh, Actually, they're all Eastern Airlines, like East Coast Airlines uh, DC-3s, aren't they? There, anyway. That was fairly productive, actually. That's good. Sorted some issues out. 
Uh, this probably needs to be connected up with that, doesn't it, really? There's no point in it not doing that. There, lovely. Uh, okay. What else has got kicking off? Uh, that's another airline doing its thing. Uh, any others that we think we need to be um, kicking off? You know, oh, we should probably have... Um, Let's go to Droidwich. Do, do we want to have... Nah, it's fine. Let's see what else have we got. Wowza. I mean... What's that? Where's that off to? Bradshaw Shilden. Huh. Oh, okay. So what What do we work out in terms of the airlines being profitable? The, that they're not? Oh, AMA Droidwich immediately somehow... No, maybe not. Not only bus to airport. We've done that already, haven't we? Haven't I, haven't I just done it? Um, somewhere, Zara 55. Uh, just double check the video. I might not have done it. I thought I did set it up, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I've not actually put the buses onto the line. Actually, maybe I didn't put the buses onto the line. Mm. Don't be paranoid now. Uh, where's my bus situation? Where is it? There. Oh, they, they seem to be. Yeah, they're moving. Yeah, it seems to be uh, a thing, functioning. Uh, there we are. <laughs> yeah. All right, also, look at this bit. It's like an uh, exclusive street going out onto this spittle of land. Oh, that? Mm, yeah. Hmm, just a sec. I need to close a, close a window, because... Someone must be smoking outside. It smells horrible. Back in a sec. Don't smoke, kids. It's gross. Um. Right. Uh, drop, oh, Nottingley. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, yeah, forgive me. Oh, good point. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Um, should it be one bus that goes between the two? Maybe that's exactly what it should be. What do you think? Should we do that? I think maybe that's what it should be. Let's go with... Uh, let's let's do that. So that was the number t number nine. So it runs... Dro oh, also... Why is it saying Droitwich Spa Airport? What's Droitwich Spa about it? Wait, why, why is... Did I name it that? Hey, wait, did it automatically name the bus stop that? Huh, nice. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, and then from there it's going to go, out. Oh, in which case I need, I do need the other building. Uh, let me do that. There we go. And so it's going to then come back up Drawish Airport, and then we're going to continue, and where are we going to plonk it? Should we... Maybe plonk it to this one. And then it whizzes out. Yeah, lovely. Okay, fine. Oh, it doesn't need two there, does it, actually? It can just get away with one. Uh, lovely. And then, not in the station, then it's going to come back via the airport. And then... Is it right? Back to the airport. Yeah. If I screwed that up or is it right? Uh, or if I just get rid of that, will that make that more, make more sense? George Victoria, George Pier, George Airport. Uh, uh, I need to go back to the other end, don't I? Do I? Oh, no, no, it doesn't because it's going to go back to... So start here, then, then obviously go to the other one. Then go up to George Airport. Then go to Nottingley Station, then go back to Drogich Airport, and then back the way it needs to go. Okay, good. The only thing is, I think it probably need more buses than that. Uh, yeah. For that to work, and to have sufficient capacity, I think. Starting in the middle, lovely. Uh, there, good. Uh, that should work. Happy days. 
And we have a functioning airfield type situation going on. Maybe they're going to upgrade this actually for, uh, you know, given that it's arriving, maybe they're going to... Um, wait, where's the lighter one? Stuff it also. Let's go with. Uh, there. Lovely. There. Yeah, just a bit of an upgrade to, you know, make it not rubbish. Happy days. Very nice. There. Uh, Grand, there's a uh, there's Droitwich Airport. Very nice. Oh golly. Uh, what else is going on there? What's happening up north? How's Lois stuff doing? Uh, the traffic. Oh, oh golly. Is stuff moving. Oh no, it is moving. It's getting worried that nothing was moving. But actually, if we look at so look at the east coast line. Looks all right, and then. If we look to up into the Lowestoft area. How's this new station? This oh, it's not new anymore, but it seems pretty pretty busy. Happy days. Freight that you know, goods trains seem to be working through alright, although that is quite the blocking maneuver, fair play. Good way to block a lot of traffic very rapidly. Hmm. Uh Let's see, what else is going on here? I mean, the station is, I mean, Lowestoft station is rammed, absolutely rammed out. Crikey. I think it works quite well, though, you know. It seems not to be causing too much headache. We've got, well, so we've got two terminal platforms, we've got through platforms, quite a lot of different through platforms for doing different things. Uh, yeah, the expresses and then the suburbans. Yeah, I think it works quite well. This is this is a mighty long bloody train, isn't it? Crikey. Yeah. Jeez. Um. It is a visually pleasing station, isn't it? It's got that love. It's got that huge, trem that tremendous long construction right the way through. It is. It is very pleasing. I agree. Uh, how much has the town expanded onto the reclaimed land? Uh, oh yeah, oh, this bit down here, it's getting there. It's all like industrial stuff that's sort of spreading out this way rather than it being kind of anything more useful in honesty, but there we are. Um, there we go. Oh, and also this, you know, they they built, they extended the um, the harbour out, but they didn't really, didn't really achieve much by doing so and the war ended before they finished it. So it's sort of, sort of somewhat, somewhat abandoned, kind of temporarily abandoned work. But actually, you know, it's uh Actually, while we're here, you know what we can do is this. This should work. Uh, if I pause this, let's see if this works. I think it should. No. Oh. I need cash. Yeah, this. that's nice. There we go. Uh, lovely. Very nice. Just, uh, you know, dredging. Doing some dredging. It's on the other side as well now. Now, what are we going to do about So, that's all fine and good. What are we do about this side? Probably need to like build a, a new road along there actually. So in hindsight, I probably didn't want to do that. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, I think I want a, a kind of straight road going there, and then that will allow more industry to appear. In fact, you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's do that. Let's reduce the size to like this. Uh, I will kind of I'll, I'll I'll fix the road geometry momentarily. Uh, let's do like a straight line like that, maybe. What do you think? We'll 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 sort of tidy this up momentarily. I'm just gonna get the road bill, I think. Uh, there we are. And let's place a straight line. Yeah, I'll do. There we are. 
uh, which allows me to do this sort of thing here. We clearly got the Dutch involved. That we're reclaiming land. There we go. There, marvellous. Uh, and then the other side, we want to go a bit bigger and go like this, I think, don't we? There. Uh, now, this is going to be uh, muddy, let's face it. Oh, you know what? It probably isn't, is it, though? Because it'll be full of damn rocks from the fact that they'll have uh, filled it in. So, actually, it's going to be all uh, filled with rocks, not soil. There they are. Better. It's better. Yeah. Reclamation. Grand. There we are. Some, some nice new... Uh, urban land. Why are we gonna do this? No, we're not like that. We're gonna do this like that. There. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Let's see if anything pops up on that. But oh, and um, maybe we are going to just since that. <laughs> this is. Seems that the game is intent on that being a thing. Then, uh, okay, fine, we'll let it be a thing. Does anything run onto that little bit? No, nothing does. We just, uh... Ah, we'll leave it. Although, I don't know why it's, it's tools. Just get rid of the lift the track there, I think. Marvellous. Right, it's December the 18th, 1947. We're getting very close to the beginning of 1948. We've, we've, we've crunched through a few years. Uh, oh, lower stuff's starting to get some more high-rise buildings, actually. It's never... Also, it is extending southwards a bit. Also, has the station been... Has Hebden Bridge Junction is still not got a lot around it. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Uh, fine. Uh, <laughs> Lowest off brilliant, I'll hit the bastard who tears it down. Thanks, a guy called Pi. Yeah, yeah, we share your feelings. Right, it's December 30th. What's happening now? So. Ooh, what's this? It's a new train. A new loco. Ooh, it's an electric loco by the look of it. Ooh. Other things are happening, though. Because, yes, everyone, what just happened... Well, it's the 1st of January 1948. Now, if I uh, if I was here and I go like this, you'll see 1st of January 1948 has a card in, in our slide deck. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, well, what is happening is that we have the formation of the Amphitros Transport Commission. Nationalisation. It's happening, folks. Uh, the Amphitros Transport Commission, which does a variety of things. So, um... A, list, a long list of things are about to happen, right? So, we've got the Amphitros Transport Commission that takes over pretty much all transport kind of undertakings on the island. Um, so, they're formed. Amphitros Railways is formed. Um, but we'll come back to Amphitros Railways in a moment. But that's not the only thing that happens as a result of the, the Transport Act 1947. Oh, by the way, so all this history, all the all the kind of history stuff I'm talking about, the, the, the sort of the, the, the legal acts, these are acts that happen in Britain. And so we're going to use the Amphitros and use, use our archipelago to explain kind of the context of these actual things that actually happened in history. So all the kind of the names and stuff, okay, it's obviously we're, we're having fun with it on our little collection of islands, but the point is that it is... Amphitrack is brilliant, a guy called Pi. That's very good. Just log that in your back pocket. Um, we... <laughs> So we're going to talk about some of the implications that that had in real life, and, 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 and we'll almost explain the history by having it being slightly larger than life and parodic for our um, 
uh, for our collection of islands. We're going to explain some of the stuff that was happening in, in, in kind of British transport policy, but also kind of perhaps some international stuff as well. So anyway, Alphatross Railways, but we'll come back to them. Um, Bradshaw Transport. Now, this is critical because... So if you remember, we had the SECT, SETC, the Southeastern Transport Commission. They have been abolished. Um, a new Southeast Transport Executive has been formed under the name Bradshaw Transport, and it's using this kind of Art Deco Roundel type situation. Uh, and we have Amphitros Road Services. Now, Amphitros Road Services are formed from all of the former railway road kind of lines that we've got. There are lots of GNER and lots of BSNWR road like road haulage companies uh, or road haulage kind of uh, uh, sort of undertakings that are going to be brought underneath ARS, underneath the Amphitros Road Services. What else is happening? Ah, yes, Amphitros Island Shipping. Now... If you remember, there was the Royal Archipelago Shipping Company Limited, which was formed you know, years ago. Um, they basically get nationalised into Amphitros Island Shipping. So that all all the island all the kind of the island shipping that's currently Royal Archipelago Shipping Company Limited is getting turned into Amphitros Island Shipping. Um, but so let's come back to our lovely. Um, back to our lovely uh, railway companies that exist now, uh, or did exist as of until yesterday, the BSNWR and the GNER. They are, alas, no more, and have been formed into Amphitros Railways. Here is Amphitros Railways. So our tremendous map, here it is, our lovely map, showing all the different lines. You see the two networks there, by and large, you see the, the huge, sprawling Bradshaw suburban railway network and all the freight that goes on there. And then quite a lot of freight lines up here in uh, over on the on the east coast. Uh, sorry, the west coast, actually. Um, and did I name something western earlier that's actually eastern? I can't remember. I'll come back to that later. Anyway. Um, I think I did. Let's not worry about that. Oh, it's on a map that none of you can see, so this is the thing that's just not a problem. Um, tabloids will have a field day with the Amphitros Road Services acronym. Very nice. Will Bradshaw Transport be headquartered at the BT Tower? Thanks, Leo. Um, oh, I don't know. Leo, you're saying something. Yeah, you kind of have to, Gareth Dennis. What, what, in response to what? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so, so you see this network, and then obviously the GNER network includes the, I mean, the, the biggest, dentist bit is, the, is, is what's called Lower Stuff Junction, actually, which is the big, the stuff north of Richmond, and then uh, this is Mag Hull, so the lines around Mag Hull, you've then got the lines around Rugeley is quite dense, uh, and then Lower Stuff, as well. so it's quite, basically, the GNER was, by and large, it was just the, the connection of, the collection of lines going north south from lower stuff down to bradshaw even though actually its premier line was connecting shanklin across to bradshaw what's gonna happen to all of this well with a click of the fingers the whole thing becomes under the custodianship of amphitros railways the people have reclaimed the railways the people who built them have reclaimed them for themselves and so here we go here is the new amphitros railways railway network um, and uh, so this is this is something that I'm going to show you that, that might be quite interesting. Lowest off junction in Richmond. You didn't miss here. As often happens, junctions that are big and grand often they ended up getting named after you know, the, the big city. So Lowest off junction is the railway is the junction that splits all the stuff that's going off towards Lowest off or going in kind of east west Kingston across. And so they call it Lowest off junction because the GNER are egotistical maniacs. Uh, right, this is a document here. This is a this is a little uh, document from an archive here. We've got uh, Amphitros Railways, the new organisation, and there's some interesting stats in here that you might you might you all might find interesting before we uh, close off the episode ish. Um, so here we are, like, and we've got. Um, so here, I'll read this out. So long allied in service to the nation, Amphitros Railways are now united in national ownership. They will do their best to preserve the fine traditions they inherit, and in spite of the difficulties of the times, to provide a standard of service worthy of the rising national effort. There we are. Um, and here we go. So Amphitros Railways. On January 1st, 1948, the two mainline railways and nearly all the smaller railway undertakings in the Amphitros Archipelago were vested in the Amphitros Transport Commission. Oh, by the way, Westernised Railway. It's also nationalised. It's part of Amphitros Railways now. Will that help or hinder its fortunes? Who knows? Um, the commission are the owners of the undertakings and are responsible for the direction of policy. The management, operation and maintenance of the railways are delegated to the railway executive, who also become the employers of all railway staff. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Seven full time, blah, blah, blah. Purposes of administration, contact with public. The railway also coordinate with regional authorities, the regions, or the Southeast Transport Executive. 
Uh, Southeast Transport is a separate executive under the Amphitros Transport Commission. So this is all good stuff, right? And here we go. Here's um, so the reason here we go. So this is the Southeast, um, the region for. The, so it's they're not regionally administered. This is just that they have uh, for the purposes of of usefully uh, having contact for the public. Um, so in the southeast, and this is basically showing you that this is this is another Easter egg, everyone. I'm showing you the um, uh, I'm showing you the the regions on the map because these are the regions of the of Amphitros. So you have the west coast, you have the northern territories, which runs from like Froome right the way across to Haverhill Burry. You've got Lakeland, which is sort of the big mass uh, here, then right down to to Droitwich, and then the southeast peninsula. You're all very familiar with. So those are the regions. So the southeast, Lakeland, the west coast, and the northern territories. And they've yeah, so the Lakeland headquarters are in Stratford, not Mag Hull actually. Just pointing out. Um, west coast head uh, are in uh, headquarters are in Shanklin. It makes obvious sense. Uh, the northern territories headquarters are in Lowestoft, as you might expect. And they're all based out of the stations, apart from in Bradshaw, where they're out of South Southeastern yeah, South House. There we go. So uh, there we go. Uh, by the way, if anyone from this is a real document. That you can find. Anyway, right, more data. So, the present. Amphitros Railways form the Mediterranean's most important transport system. Bold. Uh, under one management, they employ 1,600 men and women and operate 510 miles of track. Uh, that's actually correct. These stats are accurate, by the way, folks. There are 105... Also, I, um, I calculated how many people would roughly be running the railway, given its length. I, I, I made up some nonsense calculation in Excel of, like, because I'm a nerd and I like writing nonsense and the lore makes me enjoy playing the game more for some strange reason. I get invested in it more, uh, which potentially makes it more enjoyable for you or makes it more boring. I don't know. Uh, but I did a calculation of like looking at how many people were employed on Britain's railways compared to the mileage and population at the time. And then I did some weird Excel uh, calculation to work out that if we've got fifty, nearly 50,000 people on our island and 1,600 of them are employed on the railway, which doesn't sound like that much, does it? Um operate 510 miles of track there are 105 passenger stations and 100 goods stations that's those, those are those are correct ish i think maybe one or two either way uh steam locomotives exceed 400 and electric motor coaches number 95 these are all accurate by the way uh rolling stock includes 1120 passenger coaches and upwards of 2450 goods and mineral wagons again accurate i counted them uh, more than 265 motor vehicles are engaged in the collection and delivery of goods and parcels. So there's the, th they're the things that are moving, passing over to Amphitros Road Services. Uh, Amphitros Railways continue to operate two steamer ferries in their estuary services. Yeah, there are two. There's the Stratford Ferry and then the uh, the Ashbourne Ferry. Those are the two that are still rail that were run by the railway. The future. The enormous burdens of the war have left their mark on track and rolling stock, but in spite of arrears of repairs and replacements, Amphitros Railways are still putting forth a greater transport effort than before the war. Freight ton, ton miles are 20% higher and passenger miles are no less than 30% more than pre-war years. Plans for modernization and improvements are ready and are being carried into effect as materials become available. Difficulty will be overcome. The aim is to make Amphitros Railways the best in the Mediterranean. Bold. Changes in organization will not be allowed to interfere with the close relationship already existing between the traveling public, traders, manufacturers, and railwaymen of all ranks. Station masters, goods agents, and other railway representatives are always ready to help with information and advice. Take your travel and transport problems to them. This is the wording of the actual document that came out as the BTC was created and British Railways was created, by the way. Um, and there it is, the new organization, Amphitross Railways. You can go to the Railways Archive and get the real thing. Uh, there, there you are. There it is, some nice, uh, nice looking... Um, documentation so there we are uh people like the, the extra stuff um so there we are that's that that's some stuff going on so what does that mean what does it mean folks well it means that well it's nine o'clock is what it means it means that there is an awful lot of things that need to happen probably uh not on stream i'll do it off stream and then show you it all having been done i think that'll probably stress you out the least maybe let's do the western isles railway just to show you what's going to be the sort of thing that's going to be happening but uh we're going to be nationalizing everything we're going to be working our way through and blinking well nationalizing everything and it's going to take ages for me to do behind the scenes i think but it's happening so it's not just the railways but there's the the shipping as well so if you know you go through these lines you go to the to our shipping you've got uh, that's not a boat you've got all of the um so there's, there's quite a lot of non, uh, you know, there's, there's quite a lot of shipping that isn't uh, operated by the Royal Archipelago Shipping Company Limited, but there is a lot. So this will all become, all of these here, all of these will become Amphitross shipping lines. So, you know, that's quite a major change for, for other things as well. Um, 
and of course all of our services, all of our train services, all of these are going to become the BSNWR and the GNER are no more. They cease to exist. And indeed, here's the Western Isles Railway. Well, it's not the Western Isles Railway anymore, is it? This is the Amphitross Railway's Western Isles uh, line. There we are. It's done. Uh, and this becomes... Well, what does it become? I don't know what it becomes. It's going to become... Uh, they are... Uh, actually, I, think, I can't remember. I can't even remember what the uh, what the naming scheme, what naming scheme I've chosen for for like trains. What is it? Express. Oh, it'll be local. Okay, so it'll be AR local comma. Yeah, fine, good. Uh, zoom in on this. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just this AR local comma. Uh, Western Isles. Fine. That'll do it, right? There we are, crikey. Oh my goodness. The power pull train says Hussey times two. Will the railway lines need a company designation if they're all AR? Uh, that's a good point. It's a very good point. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Pondering. I shall have to do pondering. You're right. Because it's... Does it need that? And do I need to actually name them more... Um, do I need to name the, the kind of the services more, more sensibly? Uh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Let's just switch that off because actually that should be It should actually be AR. So actually you're right. It doesn't need to be AR, but it does need to say um, Local Westernals line Isn't it? Yeah, I know and it's actually gonna be uh, West Minster to Uckfield there local Westminster to Uckfield Oof. and what colour is it going to be? What What is the colour? I don't know, actually. What colour are we going to make it? Uh, I think it's going to all go red. You know? That sort of nice soft red. There. Grand. Oof. So there we go. Local. Westminster Darkfield. Or do I want, like, AR local Westminster Darkfield? I don't, I don't know. This is, the, this, is the, this is the admin puzzling that, uh, that you, you're here for. Also, I named that wrong, because that's not what the trains are named. The trains are all named, like, uh, passenger local is what I want. So that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sorting myself out here. Uh, so this is going to be passenger local. There, that's better. Oh, my goodness. Crikey. Uh, I know the better color options is one that I could use, but no, I'm sticking with, sticking with vanilla. That's the rule. That's the rule. So there we go. That is that. Uh, officially renamed. So where are we? Local Westminster Darkfield. Oh, golly. Don't know how I feel about this. It's worrying. Actually, you know what I do need to do is, is I'm going to say... Uh, uh, I don't want a code for it. Mm. Well, I'll I'll play with that off stream anyway. You're not interested, but basically that's what a lot of what's going to be happening behind the scenes now. While while you all tuck yourselves up into Mary, would would let me have white trains. It'd be quite fun to have white trains. Anyway, right. Oh, I'm gonna have all this chaos and fun. Oh, yeah. Black is really annoying. They didn't put black in because black trains look cool, and you can't have black trains. Um. Anyway, right. I'm going to. Leave you all in peace and quiet with that. Ah, but, but, now, but. Oh, this slightly sinister music playing in the background. It's not sinister, it's a happy time. Major changes. Um, the reason I'm, I'm going to say but is because, if I go back to small screen face, the next episode, you'll be pleased to know, the next episode is actually going to be streaming not out of my YouTube channel, but it's going to be streaming out of, of Besquicklehausen's channel. Uh... Jay's very kindly um, let me uh, put an episode out on that channel to see if people who haven't previously watched it are going to come in and watch it, um, which is nice. Uh, what's another thing that uh, I want to show you, which is that there is going to be a... Um, there is, I'm going to get it up. I'm going to put it up here, and then I'm going to do this. There is also going to be a um, 
as a result of that, if you like, as a result of it going onto Bespicklehausen's channel, um, I think the right thing to do is to um, is to do a recap episode. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be this the first hundred years. I, as I said earlier, I alluded to it earlier. I scripted it. Um, there's going to be a a recap episode, and the recap episode will be on uh, on my channel. Uh, so the recap episode will allow you all to catch up. But episode 56 will go out on Squicklehausen's, um, and I'll do a little like there'll be a go watch it there reminder. But uh, that should be fun. So there'll be a recap because we just had 100 years, 100 years. Well, nearly we've nearly had 100 years worth of episodes. So yeah, and and yeah, Jay will join us on that episode, and, and we'll talk about what the hell has just happened and what's potentially going to happen in the future, and some of the stuff that's going on, and how in the heck we're going to deal with any of it. <laughs> but uh, until then, um. I basically just need to leave you all in peace and quiet. Thanks, everyone. I'm now going to work out what to do for dinner. I'm going to wave vigorously. Cheerio! Cheerio, everyone! Bye! Thanks for joining. You're always a, a joy to have along for the ride. Bye now.